Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Valhalla tonight. Last time, we learned that rent has come due. Well, it will come due very shortly. We've got, like, maybe two or three days to make 10,000 bucks. Um, that's going to be a bit of a problem. And we also need to buy one of these Manaki Nico whatever things, right? And we're still laughing about the big wiener joke. So that's that's pretty typical. I mean, Jill, Jill and I are pretty much one and the same on our sense of humor here because that big wiener joke is really nice. All right, let's go buy a let's go buy a Maneki Neko, I guess. Five hundred fifty bucks. All right, well, we'll see if that does anything for us. We need about six thousand more dollars in two-ish days. That might be a problem. <laughs> that might be a bit of a problem, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're also gonna read the news and see what's going on. See if there's anything anything new. Oh hey, Two Chan is writing about us. Uh oh. Uh oh. This <laughs> is that bar called Valhalla. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Slash <laughs> work. Ha ha ha. And it's just like eh, this place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. Oh shut up. Also, I've never been there. I wouldn't know. She cute. Can take it. She's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. Well, the guy is a weird like ex KGB dude. What are you? What are you gonna do about it? Already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? I just heard from the distance. Uh, no, blah blah blah. Going there just to chat. I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar in the middle? Blah blah blah. And then go next week then. Sounds good enough for me. Well, uh, I don't know if the bar's gonna be around in a week, will it? We're not even quite sure. Alright, how about this from this shit rag though? Final remaster leads to video game charts. Yeah, yeah. Final. Any game with the word final in it is not final. Just look at Final Fantasy. This remaster of 2016's Eek and Postmodern RPG just was 3.5 million copies shipped on its launch day. Holy shit, that's one hell of a release. 3.5 million in its first day. My goodness. Other titles this week include new releases such as Hetsune. <laughs> yeah, nice. Het Hetsune Miku. Project Remaster and Sting's Face Remastered. All right, great. We'll try including lifetime sales. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, dang it, round ball. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, well, that was dumb. Moon Mary's Anime Pillow. Oh, yeah, we're not going to see uh, Kimberly What's-Her-Face writing any more articles since she quit. She's learning to become a bartender. Nobody's actually surprised. I love that. I remember a lot of time when a lot of stuff made this... Like this made a lot of headlines, but even though I'm reporting on it, can't help the thing has become mundane somehow, really. In a world you can just plug in the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces thanks to new technologies, blah 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 blah. And someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now, oh my goodness, wow. But it's just a plain generic anime hug pillow, get with the times, grandma, wow, nice. First space colony to develop, uh, first space colony plans to develop its own army, ooh. Crazy. No space is imagined as a promised land, a place where humanity can start over. Looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes from the past. In Outer Paradise is currently in talks to develop its own, its own privately owned army, following alleged threats from a notorious terrorist group. Guessing it right now, law is most likely approved. We'll have an army and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Blah 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 blah. Terrorist group does not exist. Don't let the Outer Paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so that I can have more control of the population. What? Fascist governments with control over the population? That never happens. Come on. Come on, guys. Really. All right, so we did some cool shit already. We bought something. We read the news. <sighs> I guess it's time to go to work. Go to work and make some muns. Hey, dinner. How you doing? Good to see you. All right, good evening. You know, I'll have to go get firecrackers for the party? Yeah. Firecracker scare off the d Oh, yeah, good idea. Go ahead. Back in a bit. Alright, bye boss. I'll hold down the fort while you're gone. Don't don't worry about it. For a cat lover, you sure get ex excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. <laughs> I know how hypocritical it sounds, but I don't care. That's right. That's right, Jill. We do not care. Oh, Jamie's already here. Holy shit. Anyways, let's start. Let's get going. Wow. Jamie is here to meet us uh, at the opening hour. Amazing. All right, well, you know what? Let's just stick with what we got. Bam. And mix drinks and change lives. Let's, let's go. Oh, hey, look at this. It's Ingram. Welcome back, Ingram. Yeah, thanks for telling me to shut up, asshole. I was gonna fly over here two weeks ago. I don't know. 
Maybe? As far as I understand, those are made by a flying drone or something like that, so it flew by here. You know what made the noise? Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you heard. Oh, come on, Ingram, you can't just drop that shit on us and then just say nothing more about it, but whatever. Do you want a drink? You want? Do you want a drink, man? You come to a bar, have a drink? It's an explosions all night. Interesting, so it didn't get far away, huh? Um, Mars Blast. All right, cool, okay. We've got something. Finally ordered a gosh dang drink. Oh, it's a cheap one too, damn it. And I can't even double it like I like doing, so whatever. Three, four, one, two, all blended. Shika, 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 shika. Mars Blast, here you go. Oh, you didn't mess up. Gee, thanks, Ingram. I guess that's the closest you're gonna... You're gonna come to a compliment. I guess we'll take it. Whoa! Jamie! Well, certainly not. Yeah. I don't think you'd stand a chance. You're, like, half his size. <laughs> yeah, Ingram would fold, like, immediately. He kills people for a living. Uh, I can fight dirty. Well, please, you make him sound like a savage. Oh, don't worry, Jamie. We're not talking shit about you. It be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. Well, that's kind of what bartenders are supposed to do, right? I mean, right? It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying it. <laughs> okay, he's got us there. He's got us there. And like I said, I'm not looking for your fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. You can come to believe I'm the only one who here enjoys them, aside from the owner. This is just you try a suplex next time. It might be to your liking. Yeah, Jamie coming in with the good-ass drink suggestions. <laughs> that was a suplex. Hopefully it's more expensive. No, it is not. It's even cheaper, actually. But we're going to double it up so we get more money. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, aroo. One, two, three, four, five, six, aroo there. On the rocks. And shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. There you go. Good stuff, like a less burning but punchier pile driver. Hey, your face looks somehow familiar, Mr. Call me Jamie. I didn't ask for this. Oh, <laughs> and you are Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I needed to look for a specific file at, hmm. I wonder what that logo is on his little jacket there. I bet he works for some shit ass organization. Animal machine expunge, huh? Did actually. Figured as much, only a handful of people do that. Almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection and feel oddly suicidal. Oddly suicidal, you say? Nanomachines. Nanomachines. Well, I go through the whole thing. Rejection. Need to hide something? The second one. <laughs> it's easier to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. That's right. That is right. How's the expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution and causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in a bed while a horrible pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced out. Blech. Like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, and your gums, and your toes, everywhere. Ow! Even... even like downstairs? Ugh. Owie. Ugh, oh, sounds very painful. Recoiled and... just thinking about it. After all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ugh. Is that what his little eyeball thing is about? What do you have, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Wow. Jeez. Ingram is hitting it hard, like, really quick. Maybe we finally got through to him. Oh, we could really load it up, too, couldn't we? <laughs> you know what? Let's do that. Let's load it up. He wants his strong ass drink. He's getting his. Oh, it's only 80 bucks though. Boo! Fucking cheap ass some bitch. Aged and mixed. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. Gut punch. Here you go. Yeah, I love these. Looks different from yours though. And a couple of extras in his actually. Well, I fucking filled it up to the top pretty much. So you're getting 100 percent. Where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all other maintenance systems. Can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweigh the cons. The rest of the enhancements, were you reconstructed, or have you been adding them over time? <clears throat> over time, either by getting a much-needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Eh, yeah, see ya, Ingram. I guess you weren't a dick this time. Yeah, whatever, he said that the past two times. He's coming back. <laughs> Yeah, shut up, Ingram. 
Seemed like a nice guy. He's kind of a dick, but whatever. He ordered drinks, so that's something. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Well, he's not the worst in the bunch, either. You're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Aw, Jamie looks rough, but he's really a nice guy. Oddly enough. <laughs> that tires the hell out of me. Hey, Alma, don't you be fucking laughing at me already, alright? It's too early in the shift for that garbage. A bad touch, huh? Oh my god, Alma, please. <laughs> And just because I like Alma, it's going to be a big bad touch. <laughs> oh my god, Alma. Alright. One, four, 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 and eight. On the rocks and mixeroo. Shake a shake a shake a shake a boom! Big bad touch. Here you go. <laughs> uh, hey, Alma, don't you be ragging on our good sense of humor here, alright? It's funny. We'll put you in a good mood. Oh yeah, that. Today my sister is supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. <laughs> hey now, Alma, come on, don't judge. Maybe she did just get fucked in the back of a parking lot. To top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Oh, beautiful. Luckily my parents brought them to court. The judge signed the kids to my parents for the time being. And they came back to the house and Diana started throwing a temper tantrum. She said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would make her jump onto the highway. Holy shit. That, I, that doesn't seem like a series of events that would put somebody in a good mood here, Alma. So, uh, what's the deal? Is there something else? Mm. So Ava comes and says, And make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. <laughs> Lol. Didn't reinforce that behavior, but ha 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 I don't know, maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. Well, if you like bad jokes, Alma, wait till you hear about the big wiener joke from yesterday. You know, I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. Late all the time, we even slept in the same bed for a while, and she turned into a teen and became a total bitch. Alright, she had other things she wanted to do. To forgive all that, I mean the age difference and all, but there's something in particular I still can't forgive. Today she invited her friends to the house and I went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked, asked if I was her sister. She said no. She said she had no little sisters. Woof. Bummer. And this moment I finally broke the pedestal I held her on. Admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little that admiration wore off until he finally reached that breaking point and felt betrayed. Haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Whoa. Uh, I hope that's not that long, but... Hey, it's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... And I said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana I know today. She hasn't matured one bit. Well, some people don't. Some people never grow up. Some people are still big old cocks. They're still childish and shit. But whatever. That's that's how life gets to some people sometimes. Still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. You see her, you don't see an adult, you see an overgrown horny teen. But aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she's made sure not to fix that impression. Enough about me, how are you? Everything's fine, aside from this note. Alright, I told you I laughed out at my dead <clears throat> Dead ex's sister? I got this note from her. Let's see. Ah, oh, she was really, really bad about the whole thing. So what's the problem then? Same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. You have a Brantini, will ya? There's a little story I want to tell ya. Alright, okay. Get you another drink, you're paying for it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Aged, mixed. Shake a, shake a, shake a, shake a, boom. Brand team. There you go. Oh, nice. When when Anna shows up, I guess the TV goes out, huh? <sighs> oh, hell no. Nah. It was the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely. Time the girl had become attached to her eldest, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. <laughs> she ain't called Titty to hacker for nothing, Anna. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. Woo. After the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job. Sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, she's really trying to distract us, isn't she? 
girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Role model sister went against everything she held her in high esteem for. She's no longer a child, and yet she felt like a part of her had crumbled. That'll happen too. You gotta make some tough choices sometimes. Hey, Joe, I can lift her sweater. Do you wanna see? I bet you wanna see. Alright, enough. Enough what? Shit. <laughs> Alright, we can turn the TV back on. Uh, I mean, I know the girl is you and the sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. This must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, well, I'm a big old coward, though. Don't you know that about me yet, Alma? I'm a big old coward. Come on, Stry. Can I get a beer? Sure. Sure, you can have a beer. Alma seems to be paying pretty well, so we're gonna... Just gonna keep feeding her big old drinks. Big old her big old... I mean, uh... <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where we make all our money. We just double everything. And hope for the bust. Shaka, 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 boom! Beer. <clears throat> Couldn't read any of it because of Anna. <laughs> Why does Anna... Did Anna distract you too much their dinner? She was kind of distracting, but I was listening, you know, a little bit. I'm telling you, do you and this Gabby girl get along? Well, yeah, I guess. Before I broke up with her sister, I suppose. I had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law... Got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. Helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her. Pretty much my sister, too. Aww, that's very sweet. Nice to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl a chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Uh-oh, we don't want Titty Hacker mad at us. Or what does boss call her? Armitage? We don't We don't want Armitage uh, mad at us here. <clears throat> Uh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. Yeah, Alma, you should show up. Yeah. We're getting Say, we're getting Stella, we're getting Alma, we're getting all the besties. Together again. Remember, I won't forgive you all. Oh, Alma, you're sweet, I guess. Alright, that seemed to be a pretty profitable first half of the day. I'm absorbed in conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? No, I didn't. His little text didn't pop up in the box here. How could I have heard him? Whatever. Gil, just take take over the bar while I take my break, okay? It'll be fine. Mm. Ah, it's good shit. It's real good shit. Okay. Okay, I guess we should mix up the tunes a little bit, huh? Every day is night, it's already in there, so let's take it out. Let's throw on Commencing Simulation. Let's throw on March of the White Knights. Nighttime Maneuvers. Snowfall and... Neon District's already in there. Dusk. A kid's looking for me. Oh, is it Gabby already? I thought we were going to talk at the party. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, wait. It's Norma. Wait, who the hell is Norma again? I don't remember. Oh, right. She was the one that came in and tried to get a, an alcoholic drink off of us. So I was like, no, man. I want to see your ID first. Ah, crap. She's back again. What the hell? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. For what? <clears throat> oh, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol. Oh, that's right. She wanted to come have a drink to piss off her mom or something like that, right? Some really weird reason. Nothing else would have fallen apart if I had some. Oh, it's so responsible, Joe. Shh. Anna, please. I'm talking to real people. And I faced my mom and told her about all the pressure she was putting on me, and I said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And, well, she didn't speak to me for two days. Probably an upswing, huh? And then she told me that it'd be a waste of mo waste to spend money in university just for me not to give it my all. She told me to still go to the college course, but that I was free to explore. I had to hear that. Well, you're yapping and not paying me money, so, uh... We get a paying customer in here, please. 
I didn't hear that. And well, I wanted to thank you for that. If I had just rushed headfirst in my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. Could I have given her, like, an al alcoholic drink before? I probably could have, right? You were right. I would be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So, thank you. Aw. Even before it's too late outside. Be careful. You know, I'm helping me here? Sure. What do you need? A bleeding Jane. Alright. Well, is Gil gonna drink it? Is he gonna pay for it? He better pay for it. Little shit. I don't know who it's for exactly, but we're gonna double it just because. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blenderinoed. Shika, 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 shika. Alright, blended. There you go, Gil. <clears throat> Hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but I'd rather the fact that only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. Uh, that's not how weird personal hallucinations work there, honey. I mean, really. <clears throat> and why can't I? You're the main character? I don't know. <laughs> it's nice. Nice fourth wall break there. What the hell are you, cute girl? Well, besides that, I mean, give us something more to go on. Okay, Jill, making a lot of faces. Yeah, just remembering stuff. Any hand here and serve a beer? Alright, big ol' beer. Big ol' beer. I should remember these recipes by now, but I do not. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shaka, 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 boom. Ba, 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 ba. You lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Maybe. Whoa! Hey, that actually looks pretty cool. Nice. I'll uh, keep that. Yeah, of course Jill can't see it, but I can. Cool. Keep it that way. That looks actually a little bit better. Oh, no. <laughs> Nobody expects the Dorth Inquisition. <laughs> Whoa, Dorothy. Okay. That's one. That's that's a heck of an in that's a heck of an entrance there. Well, welcome back, Dorothy. Dorothy Inquisition, Dorothy Inquisition, Dorothy. Ah! It bit my tongue! <laughs> this is so silly. <clears throat> hi, hi, Dorothy. Quick stop for a drink. Can you get a fluffy dream? Sure can. Sure fucking can. Is that her favorite drink, by the way? I think I fucked it up the other night. Optional karma train. Well, Dorothy's been good to us, so we'll, we'll give her a little, give her a little something, something, you know. Aged and mixed. Check a check a check a check a check a check a boom. Fluffy dream. Here you go. Yeah, before you leave, you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Aw, Dorothy, how'd you guess? Love here then. Aw, got things to do. So yeah, all right, sure. Like what? That's <laughs> that'd be one heck of a sneeze. Like, what do you need to do? A <laughs> chew. <laughs> so dumb. But for now. Oh yeah, Joe. Take care of Becky, please. What? Who the, f who the fuck is Becky? What? Who's Becky? Yeah, exactly. Who's what? <clears throat> Alright, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. Need to get them through more shady means. Alright, boss. Hi, goodbye. <laughs> Gonna buy them from the internet. Well, what don't you buy from the internet nowadays? Find them and put us all at risk of burning. Here's an extra extinguisher. Good idea, Gil. That's it for today. No, we should serve some more people. I need the money. I have to ask a silly question. See my clients? You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can get on my nerves, though. Lol. Sorry, what did you want to ask? Do you know why they call them cat boomers? I do not, actually. I don't know consider it's not them, but their parents who were called such, really? Oh, I get it. Sort of, maybe. Let's go back a bit back first. You didn't know why cat boomers look like that, though. No. Went through some anti nano machine rejection treatment, they were still a fetus. Yamazaki Romanova, huh? Was it the Romaneko. Romanenko Yamada? Oh my goodness. Whatever. Whatever treatment. Catification procedure. <laughs> there you go. Not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but also the first way to fight nanomachine rejection. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky story. Funding got caught in the middle of it as a critical point that could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention Zaibatsu Corp's record of not addressing nanomachine rejection at all. Eh, go figure. 
This research was funded by Mackie Stengovich. Is it Stengovich? Let's call him Stengovich for now. Whatever. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine rejection. Ooh. Stengovich funded the research in a desperate move. His wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. The experiment was a success. The girl Sylvia Stengovich didn't die. She became the living testament of a scientific breakthrough. Then the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized in the media and created a weird fad. Parents made their unborn children go through the catification procedure even if they had no ailments at all. Weird. One particular girl whose life got saved through that treatment became a media darling for a bit. A whole generation of kids born with those cat-like protrusions got born. Ah. Bingo. Cat boomer. Alright. Gotcha. A generation of parents obsessed with those cat-like features. The fad quickly passed. The term remained in use. The cat boomer just started being used for people with the protrusions to other parents. Eh, close enough. Protrusions, because that's what they are. Eh? I think those things on their heads were ears, right? Well, I mean, they kind of look like ears, right? They probably don't work as ears, though, I would guess. They can move because they're somehow collected, uh, connected to the facial and ear muscles. <clears throat> so they can move like a cat's and react to their mood, but in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Alright, so they're not actually ears. Surprised me a bit, though. The biggest mutation they get after the treatment is just that. These ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive stuff. Ooh. Freaky. They thought they were functional ears, huh? Say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. See? T-I-L, Gil. T-I-L. Or I guess T-Y-L. I just apologize for talking so much. Instead, and keep in mind I'm fucking up the terms. I'm not just saying someone got protrusions because of a catification procedure. Lol. Wait. What? Yeah, the guy's name was Stengovich. I just remember Sing Sylvia Stengovich was around my age, and when I was a teen, there were some TV specials. I just remember that I had the biggest crush. Aww. It's adorable. I think about it, that crush had me very confused. <laughs> Did he do the shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out. I'll see you, Gil. <clears throat> we made no mistakes, and we only made 1700 bucks. I don't think we're gonna make 3100 no, 4100 in one day. We might be boned. We might be a little boned here. Hmm. This could be a problem. Now, do I need it at the end of this coming day, or will they give me another day? Just for me being me. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit rough to get that amount of money, even two days, though. Alright, well. Let's read some shit. What do we got? What's what's on the two chans? I mean, Glitch City. This for a new friend in this wonderful land? Oh boy. Don't trust in white knights and don't go out after 5 p.m. unless you want to get mugged or murdered. Not necessarily in that order. Take a portable chair everywhere, you'll have to line up for flour. <laughs> you used to eat what you find. The shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating rice with butter for months now, and I guess it could be worse. <clears throat> Coming mean, here was a mistake. Why would you come here anyways? Visiting family, but now I want to take them out. Do all you can. Since they're leaving the city, long we won't be able to escape. Can I even get some weed in this crap hole? Yeah, I just PM'd you a good dealer. Nice. 2chan coming through in the clutch. And then the rest we've already read. Alright. Being an adult is very difficult. I will agree. 100%. No question on that. EDC closing 40% of its bars in... Which city? Oh, that sucks. British Trademark Council. Okay, I, I, I didn't know what BTC stood for before. Looks like they're on their way out. Playing rising inflation rates and a weak currency, and also the other bartenders except me being total shitlords, probably. You see, they've given the order to disband almost half of its recreational businesses. Can't keep doing business like this. We can't keep making record profits like this, my goodness. Think of the shareholder's bottom line. Let's say it has negative impact on our earnings, it can't continue in the red, blah blah blah. Yeah, I bet you're in the red. HBTC <laughs> is just too greedy. Hey, oh, for one, one thing Prime Minister Quincy and I are actually starting to agree on. They make a lot of money already, you now they're crying because they can't have more? Give me a break, lol. Wearing socks with sandals in public is now a crime. What? Come on. Well, maybe not a real crime. It's cer certainly a crime against uh, fashion, but... Only well, uh, here to decency rules, however, that's about to change. Glitch City's Department of Public Decency. Oh my goodness, really? Declared that wearing socks and sandals together is a punishable crime. If convicted, the guilty face three days in jail for his punk. <laughs> what? Really? Come on. I don't know, that's still a little ridiculous. I know art is supposed to imitate life and all, but come on. What do you think? Should we wear whatever we want, or should the fashion police of high society decide for you? 
If that were the case, I think I'll simply stick to the right side of the battle, lol. Birth rate decrease as the youth prefers the little company. Hey, that's... Whatever, don't judge, okay? In the century, the idea that people would rather be with robots instead of other humans is treated as a joke. But the reality is that the convenience of these kinds of relationships have become immensely popular, where birth rates are beginning to decrease at an alarming rate. It's so much better in dealing with other people, you know? You can just make your own perfect... Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, you'd, you'd kind of expect that part of it, right? I suspect that new regulations will soon be announced to address the situation. Oh, good. Great. <clears throat> Okay, we don't need to buy anything because we already bought that thing, so let's just save and go back to work and see if we can do some... get some money here. Let's get all the money. We've almost got everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. So I designate you, Gil Apple... I hope that's not his real name, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Why you? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. That's right, I'm a proper lady there, Gil. Fuck off and go get the rest of it. I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. That's very, that's very smart and pragmatic. I'm gonna say anything, Jill? If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. <laughs> Paul. Bye, Gil. Don't get murdered and or mugged on the way back, please. That tells me you're planning something. Gives you that impression because you got the big ol' anime sweat drop going on. Gut feeling. You know Gil has a crush? He what? Mine of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. He's been coming on to him for ages and he's only just started opening up. Oh, okay. Very clever, boss. Very clever. He's taking steps backward. I'm not gonna let him. Open it up for fuck's sake. <laughs> so the errands will take him to the bazaar. Yes, Jill, we already came to that conclusion, right? Yeah, we got it. We're on point. Time to load up some tune skis. All right, uh, bam, boom, bam, boom. Who was I? Uh, let's toss Umemoto back in there, even though I don't remember what it sounds like. Oh, that is nice. Uh, everything will be okay. And already got nine time maneuvers. Let's throw a remix in there. Remix Snowfall, or Reply Snowfall, or Regarding Snowfall, however you want to interpret RE, I suppose it's fine. Time to mix drinks and change some lives and make some money. <laughs> this place, great. Oh, if it isn't. Oh, Kiramiki's back! Oh, it's been like 11 days. What the hell? Anywhere you can hide? Uh, are you gonna sign another glass for me, maybe? Or maybe buy some drinks? Unpleasant guy on your trail. Is it that stupid fucking private eye dude? Because he's kind of unpleasant. Stalk woman incoming. Doors open. Go ahead, door to the left. Ah. Another one. That's the bathroom. Lol. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Uh-oh, Gil is gonna have a major mess to clean up when he gets back, isn't he? Oh! Oh, go figure. Yeah, it's this shitlord. Or, I'm sorry, this chauvinistic horse blower. Oh, the hellhole, perfect. Yeah, fuck off. Kid, I have the usual. Alright. Yeah, I know he's into the beers. And you don't forget that anytime soon. One, two, three, four. I'm even gonna be extra nice and give him a big beer because I need his cash. Oh, mixer rude. Shaka, 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 boom! Big ol' beer. Here you go. It seems right. Paper's been a mess lately. Well, it's a shithole rag that... Whatever. If they think that's all that's happened, they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations I can't afford to be understaffed. Well, you. I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I don't mean to sound rude, but you do know the infamy of the augmented eye of the general public, right? Shitty page will over-sensationalize anything and report useless things. Alright, well, as long as we're being clear with each other here, I guess that's good. And of course he knows. I mean, you'd have to be a pretty big-ass, blind-ass idiot not to know about that shit rag, right? Why not try to rectify that? Put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls in the non-pleasant way. Oh, yeah, gee. Thanks. The Master Corp and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once, and they'll find something to find you with. 
twice and they'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that, in the best case scenario, is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. And the worst case, you'll wake up without kneecaps? Or with your balls in your mouth or something like that? I don't know. Whatever. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week, but if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Let's see, this hellhole is still in one place. Gee, or I'm sorry, one piece. It'd be kind of weird if we were in more than one place, but whatever. Ape shit closing bars. Yeah, about that. They closed one that serves as key part of a drug trafficking ring. Holy shit. Last week they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken illegal chicken restaurants? I'm sorry, what the f How do you... What? <laughs> Is chicken outlawed in this town, or what's the deal? Not to mention, there are like a hundred people at BTC certificates, but never used them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from reading, raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin to be see after this whole thing. Yeah, I kind of already knew that. <clears throat> Alright, kid, let's try a moon blast. Alright, I'll give you a moon blast. It's fine, whatever. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. One, two, one, two, three, four. Rocks and blend. Shake a 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 Alright, moon blast, there you go. Ah, let's see what the ruckus is about. Uh, so, brought you here. Alright, didn't you see a little one coming in here? Nope, I haven't seen a thing. Blue hair, big tits, gee, thanks. That's really specific. The one from the Encore concert coming up. Nope. Did she jumped onto the roof yet? Why are you looking for her? Do you want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Nice, well... You gotta admire this dude's honesty, I suppose. I suppose. Although, then again, you don't have to admire anything about him. You know what, forget it. You don't have to admire him for anything. That hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring, lol. Why, are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? You seen that girl? Hot as tits. Also, hot ass and tits. Wow. The weirdest combo of being hard as fuck and curious as shit right now. Wow, okay. A little bit too much information there, uh, Mr. Donovan. I want to know just how detailed those King Class CH1A models are, personally. So you followed her. Get to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. Alright, well you're looking at one of them. And the other one you chased in here, but I'm not telling you that, so fuck off. <laughs> Jill, once again. Once again, Jill and I on the same wavelength. <clears throat> like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. Well, good thing you're staying together then. Pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. Oh, goodness me. That little isn't here, huh? Nope. Just about to find a busty enough replacement tonight or I'll explode. Oh, goodness me. After you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Well, at least he's being a little bit polite about it. I mean, he's a bit of a butthole, but he's come a long way, I suppose. Ha 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 ha. All mixed. Shake a 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 boom. Bam. There you go. I don't see so she's not here. I have no reason to stay. What, what did she just like pound that back in one go? Man, these dudes drink fast. I gotta keep up. Maybe you'll find someone that looks a bit like her. Well, here's hoping that you don't, but whatever. <clears throat> oh, don't worry, Kiramiki. We've got your back. We've got your back, 100%. Tell me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the video. Oh, thank you. You had a hearty talk? Your boss is such a fun person. She is a fun person, isn't she? Sister's a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple photos. Nothing really. She did hide me. It's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already, man. Give me something sweet. Something sweet. All right, we can give you something sweet. Sugar Rush is the sweetest thing we got, probably. I mean, it's got sugar right in the name, right? Oops, I fucked it up. One, two. Optional karma tree, huh? Well, Lilim can't get drunk, right? I mean, Dorothy told us that, right? Right? Shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. Sugar Rush, here you go, sweet. <clears throat> You know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. Fair enough. The questions were a bit over the line last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. He was just trying to come on to you. Ah. 
Uh, not like he'd have a chance anyways. Not into the older guys, and I'm already committed to a relationship. Bump, 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 bump. Did I make Dorothy drunk last time? I don't think so. Did I? I don't remember. No. Was it Dorothy? Oh man, that's a long time ago. Do not remember. I told the guys I already committed to a relationship. Wait, wait, you are? With who? Not common knowledge, and the ones that are here try to dismiss it as rumors, but I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. I guess that's true. It all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. I offered to help with that. After he read it, I thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough, couldn't hurt to try. He's stick in the mud where planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. Aww. You know, I met two fans of yours lately. Really? Both of them so excited when they were talking about you. It was amazing. <laughs> I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious. But, I have many fans. It doesn't sit so well. Uh, I like many people who like my music better. But that doesn't quite roll off the tongue there. But it does make more sense. An uglier and more pretentious image. Yeah, true enough. You like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? Well, I have one of your tunes playing as the opening thing. In fact, let me just, uh... Honest, <laughs> I haven't had much exposure to your work, but... A few things I've heard are really good. Like this one. Like this one. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't talked to you. I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. Aww. That's very sweet. That's a very sweet perspective, too. Have anything like tea? Sure, I think we actually have literal tea, don't we? We have spiced tea, does that count? Here, have some literal tea. Yes, perfect! Perfect! Uh, King Class CH1A, right? Can I ask you something about your model? Yeah. Are there any differences between you and a DFC-72? Isn't that uh, what Dorothy is? Both serve the same purpose, but DFC-72 have the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that, or the resilience of the DT-01Ds. Wait a minute. Alright, so CH-1A I can kind of read as Chia, right? Can I do the same with, uh... Maybe not. I'm sure that's a reference to something, but I, I don't get it. Detoids, lol. <clears throat> Ten more polish other where other places. Where specifically our voice simulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. Trade off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Anything new for the concert though? Come on, give us the skinny. Encore, so we're trying to make it the same for those that couldn't go to the first one. We always try to spice it up, maybe with a surprise song or something. How did I end up buying that tea? I think it was one of the things you could buy from the shop when you're uh, at at home, I think. There was one time I sang a cover of a song by <laughs> Blink, B-Link, not Blink-182. <laughs> of course, in return, they sang Your Love is a Drug. Aw. You know the B-Link girls? Really nice kids. You'd be surprised at how different from their onstage personas they are. Suzu, for example, can be really childish at times. She also laughs a lot and loudly. You know, Aina. I, Aina? Aina? I'll go with Aina. Party girl through and through. If they're not on tour, she spends her time partying like crazy. Huh. I believe. I mean, their image is that of stork girls with little expression. Almost like living Victorian dolls or something. Well, now they wanted to pop out in public. They once told me, if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. True enough. So they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties with melancholic songs. Wouldn't say they went the opposite way, but... Honestly, the cutesy idols would be unkempt, tone-deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. I guess if you want to take the literal opposite. Alright, we already heard this one, so let's fast forward to whatever we were going with here. There we go. That's some better tunes while we're talking with Kiramiki. Well, I've got to go. Let's have a Sparkle Star first. All right, Sparkle Star it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. And she's not doing a concert today, right? So I can get her toasted and it won't matter. Hehehe. <laughs> 
All right, aged and mixed. Shika, 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 boom! Sparkle star. Here you go. Sparkling. Oh, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Bye, Kira Miki. You're very nice. Please do come back. Oh, Gil's back. And we're halfway through the day. I hope we made a lot of money there. I wasn't paying attention to it. Uh, okay. Burp, burp. Wait, buy oil for that door. Which which door are you talking about there, Jill? Alright. What else can we do here? Let's move let's move some shit up. Oh I can't Oh, that's weird that you can't swap with a blank spot, but whatever. I suppose it's fine. Diamond, alternate reality, showtime! Showtime a little bit earlier and underground club because that's bumping, right? Oh yeah, that's bumping. <laughs> Gil, please move. I need the money. And what's her face? Model warrior Julianne or whatever, right? <clears throat> also, you're cleaning one of Boss's chicken buckets. Boss asked you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's go with that then. Alright. Oh, Stella's back! Hi, Stella! Oh, the Bleeding Jane. Alright. No problem. We can do that. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. And blended. Shika 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 Alright, blended. There you go. I brought you here today. Waiting for Say? <gasps> is Say coming by to- is Say coming by too? Please say yes! Aw, she stopped by to say hi. Aw, oh, she's so nice. Pretty interesting though, when I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. This place is comfortable. You mean it's not a hellhole or a crack house? And I guess it no longer smells like dog piss and soap, right? So, you know, that's got something got something going for it. Also clean. Really clean. Oh, really? Well, besides that first night, of course. Apparently Gil's uh, good about cleaning things. <laughs> what is he laughing about now? What's that shit Lord laughing about? Get out of it today, though. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because he came back from talking to his honey at the bazaar or whatever, right? Okay, that'll, that'll make a guy happy. That'll make a guy happy. You heard of the new gold rush in the city. Now, what does that mean? Paying small fortune to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. Oh, really? Uh, say, can I borrow your helmet? I want to sell it for money. Is it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits is always safely guarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knights still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. Ugh, excuse me. All happened in the middle of the lynching, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So I'm guessing when they say lynchings, they don't mean literal lynchings. They just mean getting the shit beat out of you, right? I guess it's all bad enough on its own. Between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on the run, they ended up being a lot of junk lying around. The whole scientific community is rejoicing. So you get to study it, reverse engineer it, break the DRM and that bullshit, right? And of course, even a single piece of armor fetches a high price these days. Can't even see any profit from that research to justify those expenses. I'm um, sure. New tech, a whole new field ripe with patents just opened for many, so I'd say yes. See, it's literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks. Yeah, they're called trolls nowadays. It's one weird case, though. There's a guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique, unique Blitzkrieg core unit. The guy had a really small unit, five people, including himself. That is really small. 
aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what? Uh, they looked really gaudy. Yeah, probably. Turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. Holy shit, nice. One of the few, if not only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. The amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. Uh, you mean a bar? <laughs> Perhaps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. Aw, oh, Stella, come on. Just because I'm trying to charm people out of their money. But yes, I do do that. <laughs> Wait, here's a freebie. Fun fact. They'll see if it's originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces, but regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of tech to near civilians. Nice. Well, I sure hope not. That'd be kind of dangerous. Guess even Zaibatsu Corps has its limit, huh? People love to demona, de 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 demonize them. Face it, they're far from innocent. They're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. Well, there's a very thin line between evil and greedy. Just ask Google. Ha 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 ha. This so happens to have a control over what tan amounts to a city state. Yeah, no shit. Corporations will naturally result to, or resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. You get so much as hold of a. Oh yeah, if you get so much as hold a bottle. Okay, that's that's a little bit awkwardly worded. If you get so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. Let's not start with theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. <laughs> And again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such an ass clown. I mean, a clown. Sorry, inserted a word there. There's no power anyway. He's just behind the front that whatever council behind Saibatsu Corp chooses. <clears throat> Makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever... Oh, yeah, well, classic misdirection, right? So what you were saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge-ass theme park. It's called the White Knight's uh, glorified mall security in the past, so yeah. Okay, yeah, fair. Oh, seriously, and what? Oh, come on. Come on. Explain, Stella, please. Hey, Brentini. Oh, okay. All right. I want to know. I want to know about that. All right. So let's, uh... Oh, Brantinis aren't that alcoholic, are they? And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Aged. Mixed. Shaka, 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 boom. Brantini. Oh, I take it you're in a good mood today. Does it show? Well, your, your ears are kind of perky, I would guess. You're not exactly in, like, full-on super smiley mode, but, you know. Yeah, there we go. See? See? Oh, Kirimika was just in here. You just missed her. Oh. Nice. Oh, right. As it turns out, she was just here. What? <laughs> Again? <laughs> Sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. Surprised too. It's more, more surprised you remember my name, though. And like last time, she's quite the graceful client. That's right. She was. We did help her out. We did hide her from Dick Nuts McGee, aka D. Don Donovan Dawson, or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true. Amazing. I always want the famous people to be nice in real life. Yeah, but mostly they turn out to be jerks. Go figure. And such backing to that claim to hear she's no, not so nice. It's nice to hear, you know? In fact, many think that's what made her so famous so quickly. She's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. We do need people to look up to, you know? We just hope that they're good people on the inside too, right? I see. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. Ding, 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 ding. Well, to be honest, I've never put much thought into that one. Half half the time, I have no idea who made what I use, nor do I care much. A nice person will take you far, though. Yeah? Yeah, usually it, usually it does. And it feels good, too. It feels good to be nice to people. Just be nice to people. Just, why can't we all just get along? I always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. I guess that's true. You can be assertive while also being polite and kind and shit. He's actually managed to get certain contracts over other more powerful people. Ha 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 ha. That was a good advice. It is very good advice. More importantly, Danny. <laughs> oh, said something you didn't want to say, huh, Still, Come on. No, 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 no. You are going to tell us about this now. You brought it up. 
You really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security? Dan always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. Holy shit. Nice. <clears throat> You'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. Well, when you go around with these big-ass drills for hair, you'd figure wearing something a bit more discreet would probably do wonders for you, right? I wonder if I could get in the disabled line of saying her wounds. <laughs> Alright, now who's being a little underhanded here? <clears throat> She'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't abuse that. Give me a classic. You want a classic, huh? I'll give you a classic. What do we got? What's the most expensive classic we have? <laughs> 200? Wow. Beer is really expensive. You know what? I'm not giving her beer, so let's give her a... For a Bleeding Jane instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. All blenderinoed. Shaka 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 Blended. Here you go. Have any servants around the house? Dude, they've been with us for so long, they're practically family. And as I always said, that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. Uh, a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. Oh, that's nice. So it comes by every weekend to tend to the plants. <clears throat> we know if you're ever in need of a job, we might find you something. Oh, Stella, first you give us that bottle of rum, which is super nice, and now you're offering us to find us a job. That's super good of you. Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. When all that tech be patented anyways, I get trying to crack it in the first place, but... That would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. Well, if it's super secret tech, you probably don't want patents floating out there around it, right? That would be in a database that somebody could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Yeah, yeah, bing, 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 bing. I mentioned they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. Whoops! Probably don't want that to get out. No patent registry in their right mind or to prove of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how it immobilized everyone still inside one of the suits. So the ones that were upholding- Oops, 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 click by that one a little bit. The ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that are by all means illegal? Irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? It is pretty ironic. Why do it though? You have so much money you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. Well, when you can literally bribe, cheat, and steal to get people to write laws for you? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. They're not wrong. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. Yeah, gee, huh. Glad to see that hasn't changed in the year of our Lord 2070X. This city is what happens when the, those with money start making the rules. Curious though, have you ever covered up any fuck ups by using money? Whoa! Alright, we going in. We going in for it. We've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Yeah, but that's not an answer! That's not a no, Stella. Come on. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Oh, come on. You just skipped out without answering. Oh. But I still like you, Stella. Don't worry. Oh. Alma's back. Pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? Hello, Alma. Hello, Titty Hacker. Which name would you prefer? First, the greeting stop, and then saying please and thanks stops, and then before you know it, boom! Total anarchy. That's a that's a bit that's a bit on the hyperbolic side, but whatever. And she's not wrong. Not wrong. Back, I'll go through that door again. I expect you to properly greet. <laughs> Are any bets on when we're uh, on whether we'll actually say hello to her this time? Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dream, while I pondered. <laughs> Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. Yes, perfect. Edgar Allan Poe. Brilliant. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly <laughs> there came a tapping. How far into this are we gonna go? As if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. <laughs> There's some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Alright, come on. Totally overdid it. Oh, come on. <laughs> That was pretty good. Both the bartender, I did not. 
<laughs> Brilliant, I love it. Yep, Edgar Allan Poe, that's right. That is right. And yes, I did catch that, it was hilarious, I love it. I don't know if that's necessarily... Was that necessarily poetry? I don't know. Can I get you something? Start with a big cobalt velvet. All right. Big ass cobalt velvet. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rocks. Mixeroo. Shika, 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 bam. Cobalt velvet. There you go. Yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Is the name Shadow Master 69's Chronicles ring any bells? Oh no. That seems like a reference to something, like, within the realm of our time, right? I mean, nice. Shadow Master 69, nice. <laughs> oh, apparently Jill knows about it. No, no, the name doesn't ring any bells. <laughs> Alright, this, this music is not proper for this. We need something like... Uh, I guess Dawn Approaches works. May 22nd, totally my daily card readings told me... Or today my daily card readings told me that I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I'd been picked for an inter-school contest in my latest essay. New scientific theory on the idea of auras. Yeah, it sounds very scientific. It's as revolutionary as I thought. Soon I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. Oh boy, occult. Yikes. Inner entries don't seem to have gone that well, though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. Well, I mean, if the essay is wrong, I mean, of course you're gonna get lectured about it. Make sure to delete that block, no evidence should be left. Wait a minute, Jill, did you write that? Come on! Think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all that stuff archived. Yeah, never put stuff out there that you don't want to be maintained forever. <laughs> Why? Why? Just relax, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? Not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're still not you're not still like that, right? Well, I don't know. God no, I give up on the whole occult stuff. Remembering all that stuff is. Ugh. <laughs> Once again, Jill and I, one and the same here. <laughs> I don't know, I like the way you looked. Aww, all you're sweet. All just in black with the rare accessory popping out thanks to colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. Oh good, so she saved a picture. Are we going to be able to see this, huh? Like you mentioned a picture. <laughs> take out the sins of my past, oh man. Jill, everybody's got sins of their past. Best to just face them and come to terms with it, and then you won't be so bothered by it. <laughs> she was bored. She was bored and hacked up a picture from the deep past, apparently. <clears throat> Last Friday, I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check. <laughs> Simple stuff, just checking past, past internet activity. Please don't run background checks like that. <laughs> I just used a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. Oh boy. I'll let you to the page. You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Oh, that's bad, OPSEC. Don't do that. Like I said, relax. <clears throat> You're obsessed with occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. Wow. Alright, secret for secret, I guess. That's fair. That's fair. Ever underestimate the links old classmates will go to track you down? Especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. Oh boy, yeah. That'll get you some weirdos, won't it? Well, if things we're not too proud of as adults. I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask though, why the 69? Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> OPSEC, InfoSec, and Forensic. Alright, uh, so OPSEC is short for Operational Security. So if you ever hear people talking about using proxies and encrypting their shit, or well, I guess not encryption. Encryption is more infosec, but using proxies and generally making your stuff untraceable and kind of being smart about your browsing habits, that's opsec, operational security. Infosec is info security, information security. That's encryption, 
proper privacy measures, data recovery, that sort of thing. And forensic is actually a word on its own. Forensics is, um, let's see how to explain this. Forensics is like digging up evidence. Or if you're doing like forensic recovery or something like that, you're trying to recover data, which I just did a lot of recently. Um, <clears throat> so, and you hear about like forensics uh, a lot in crime scenes and stuff like that. Like patching stuff together from like really disparate clues and stuff like that. That's generally forensic. I don't know. I'm not a very good dictionary. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's supposed to be 6'9", not 69, like in reference to both the lovers and the hermit. <laughs> nah, nah, 69 is fine, Jill. Come on. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. Con convinced it meant wise choices. <laughs> 69 and wise choices. Okay, okay, nice, okay. Bow, bow. <clears throat> Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 69. <laughs> I was 12. <laughs> Even at 12, I fucking knew what a 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? Well, I think you answered your own question there, Alma. <laughs> Let's sweeten things up a bit. Have a sugar rush. All right, fine. <laughs> this is a weird conversation. One, two, three, four, one, two. And optional karma train. Well, let's let's keep Alma talking here. Uh, mixed. Shaka 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 shaka. Boom. Bam. There you go. Here's the sugar rush. Speaking of the past, what was your last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. Dug through my past, I've earned the right to dig through yours. Lol. Turnabout is fair play, titty hacker. Come on. Long lasting relationships. Romantic ones. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I've had about four boyfriends who I'd describe as such that I've introduced to my family at all. First one was in high school, I broke up with him because he cheated on me. Fair. Very fair. Remember the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying, keep the fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Second one was during my freshman year. Broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. Wow, well, all right, that's a little bit more shallow of a reason, but whatever. Starts with a friendly hit, and before you know it, anyways, okay, oh, fair, okay, okay. Other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. He's interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him. Oh, I think we heard about that guy, didn't we? <clears throat> And then there's Richard. Who? Spent almost four years with him. Got along pretty well, we had some awesome chemistry, I truly loved him, but as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. Just didn't like my family. He wasn't a family person, he distanced, distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. Well, not everybody wants kids, Alma. But, you know, if you want kids and the other person doesn't want kids, that's probably gonna be a pretty big deal. Probably a big deal. Part of me that wanted to believe, even if just a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. I don't think people really change their minds about that. As much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us, and at one point I just had to break up with him. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer. Alright, you want a beer? There seem to be a lot of drinks flowing here, which is fine. I need the money. It's fine. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shaka, 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 boom, here. <clears throat> I'll mention it. Okay, one more question and we're even. <laughs> you really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? What age did you get those implants in your boobs? Well, I love you, and I know you're saying that in jest, but I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. Honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. <laughs> Alright, you gotta own what you have, right? Ask the real question before I slap you. And she won. And only one chance to call me by my full name is compensation, then. It's funny that she mentioned slapping because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? Heh, <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. First is that I spend lots of time typing, and those replacements help me avoid carpal tunnel. Hmm. You know, I wonder... <clears throat> I wonder if cybernetics will advance enough in my lifetime where I could do that. That'd be pretty handy. <laughs> but um, bum get it? Handy? Replacement hands? Ah, okay, that was a bad joke, I'm sorry. 
No. Other utilities, like how I can interface with the many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. So, so there is. I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. There's lots more, but they're small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take it, though? They took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. They even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> report squall. It was a pretty bad joke. I will admit to that. I will admit to it. Unless you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it, someone else has them. Apparently before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. Ow! ay ya. Only to check if she were compatible and all that. I mean, luck has it, right? I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice, then you can get a natural replacement. Bit of cosmetic treatment and it could pass off as your original hand with no problem. Last I heard, we were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. Alright, so that's what happened to Righty. What happened to Lefty? Didn't tell your mom about that. Didn't want her pressuring the poor girl. So we're cool now? Are we even? Are we? You were pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobs. Yeah, and I'm sorry. It sounded a lot less rude in my head. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. Yeah, see, there you go. That's it. That's your one, Elma. Don't push your luck. Now you don't. <laughs> Again, Jill, Jill and I are on 100% wavelength here. Eh? Why? Because you just did. Ha! 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 Uh, you serious? That counts. That fucking counts, alright? One chance and only one chance. You just used it up. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, ah. No, oh, why are my hallucinations back? Oh, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey. Hmm, <laughs> <coughs> 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 pardon me. <clears throat> Not particularly, no. Although there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. Hmm, a little burpy. <clears throat> there was a scenario where nanomachine clusters would leave the body after death. And then acted as a collective hive mind through residual brave brain waves. Whoa. That's kind of freaky. The result would basically be an image not unlike a hologram. Ah. Huh. Of course the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. Whoa. Some thick ass nano machines. It's not like brainwaves are potent enough to create those reactions. It's still an interesting read, though. Give me that look. It's not my fault that you convinced yourself that you're crazy. Well, you just kind of show up and you make the TV go all freaky. What else am I supposed to believe? I'll leave then. See you tomorrow. Bye, Alma. No, we're not done. I need more money. Hey, please, can I have more money? No reason the idle girl left him just like that. Left him like that, it seems. Wait, what? I don't. Wait, what? I think? Might have been a while he was out. True. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Did I miss something there? What's going on? The idle girl left him like that. Oh, okay, I, I get it. Okay. The idle girl left him like that. She didn't actually leave him, but he's, he's a little. He's still a little bit kind of punch drunk on a crush or something like that. Alright, I get it. I get it. I get it. You're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler. Yeah, let's turn on the wrestling match. Is it on? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Pa, pa, pa. Man, I wonder who's gonna win that. They've been going on that for like two weeks now. That I am. Why? Just wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Twin tails for little girls and teens with 8th grade syndrome? Hey! Is Boss insulting our hairstyle? You get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? Yeah, I suppose, right? <clears throat> sure, in my ideal world, you would solve legal problems through girl wrestling, but... No, seriously, 8th grade what? You don't go around calling soap operas fake. You don't? I sure do! They're fake as fuck! The show it just so happens to use fights as an expression. Might as well see it as a unique form of theater. Yeah, she's got us there. It is... It is a form of expression. I won't call it theater necessarily, but it is a form of expression. <clears throat> Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. I guess. I don't, won't stand for anyone bad-mouthing wrestling. I even turned it on just for you, boss, alright? Please. Now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. <laughs> Sorry, Gil. Sort of. Oh well, wait, what? 
<laughs> oh, sorry, Gil. <laughs> Eighth grade, what? <laughs> Damn it, we're 1100 short. We made some good scratch that day, though. 3,000. Oh, boy. <clears throat> we made some damn good scratch that day. I hope we have another day. Oh, I couldn't pay my rents. Boo. Boo. Rent contract is now invalid. Please vacate the place by February. Discuss a renewal with my landlord. All right, how do I go talk to my landlord, then? Damn it. Well, now I got $9,000 that I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> shit. Ah, well, we tried. We really tried. We were giving out big drinks and shit. <gasps> Yurimiki wrote about us! It sounds silly and a bit hard to pronounce. Good thing it's actually called Valhalla. The funny numbers and letters are just a code. You can visit this cute small, bo small bar downtown twice after getting lost for a bit. The area was called Neon District. Nah, we'll still have flawless service. Mark my words, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, wait. Uh oh, she's writing about us. That means there's gonna be a whole bunch of bullshit probably happening, huh? We might even get Streaming Chan back. That might be weird. Yeah, this is cute, blah, blah, blah. At first it was a bit scary because I forgot my way back, but once I got in there, I felt really safe and at home. Bartenders are a bunch of sweethearts. Aww! Hero Miki, so sweet. The boss is such a class act, I even took a photo with her and sent a video to her little sister. <clears throat> Forward to visiting again, the drinks were very tasty even though they weren't made with of real alcohol. Well, I'm, I'm presuming real alcohol is either super rare, super expensive, or outlawed. One of those three, take your pick. Merry Christmas, blah, 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 uh, uh, yeah, okay, we read all that already, that's fine. 2chan got any more tasty gossip for us? Nope. How about the shit rag known as AE, augmented eye? New little regulations, uh-oh. Is Dorothy gonna have to give up her gun hands? And create more new laws, enforce robot-like features, and embed to reduce identity theft. Oops. First Nation to adopt the current standard in artificial intelligence robotics, blah, 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 blah. Long-term experiment with their role in human evolution. Yada, yada, yada. Unknown what kind of laws we'll have in the future. The Great Earthquake. Salvage agents are the new rage. Great Earthquake that sank large portions of the world five years ago also created an unexpected new profession. Salvage agents. Big cities like Tokyo and several places like Caracas, several kilometers. Whoa, shit. Eww. Well, I guess you, you know, millions lived before there before the Great Earthquake, and it's on me to retrieve their memories, their lives. I'm working to retrieve items from the research facility in Tane Tanegashima Island in Japan. Alright. Then Fighters crowns a new heavyweight champion. Is it the Red Comet? Oh, wait, no. Boss is too light to be the heavyweight champion, I would guess. <clears throat> Most popular pro wrestling promotion has a new champion with giant Yusuke taking the gold from fellow Japanese wrestler Justin Liger. <laughs> nice. Their previous champion, 66 American Kid, was forced to relinquish the title due to a head injury. GSO decided to blah blah blah. Epic match after a 30 minute bout. Giant Yusuke applying a massive German suplex for the three count. Nice. During an interview with AE, Giant Yusuke told us through a translator that he's waiting for 66 American Kid to recover. I won't rest until I beat him clean. That's very honorable. Alright. Well. <clears throat> Here's what we're gonna do. Uh. Uh. Mm. Oh, there's more left than I thought. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to go get a little, little extra to drinky drink, and then we'll continue. Back in a few.
<laughs> All right, so here's the thing. <laughs> I had a little less mixer left than I thought. This is going to be a little potent. But that's fine. <clears throat> I will power through. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, that's still good. But whoa. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we kind of fucked up our lives here because we couldn't pay rent. So we're going to save, of course. Like, I feel like I have another day. Didn't they say it was due on the 30th? Oh, it is the 30th. Oops. Oh. Damn it. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do then. I mean, I guess we've got a month, right? And I don't know if this game is gonna go for another month, is it? That would be awesome, but still, I don't think that's gonna happen. But whatever. I mean, we're here. December 30th. Does December have 31 or 30 days? Let's see. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It has got 31 days, so this isn't New Year's Eve yet, huh? It's not the party? Oh, Gil is still fucking up in the clouds because he was talked to his honey yesterday, right? <laughs> hey, Jill. Are you in love, maybe? Huh? Nothing on the sword. He's fine. Whatever. That's the that's the first thing people who are not fine say. That they're fine. Whatever. You're not fooling anybody, Gil. Oh, seriously, did you? <laughs> Let's get right to the heart of the matter. I didn't get so happy after they fucked. That's not well. One, that's not true. <laughs> Come on, that's that's a common misconception. But you know, whatever. Okay, <laughs> he totally fucked. <laughs> oh man, was it all in shift seven minutes and a half later? No, it didn't. Gil, you're not fooling anybody, boy. <clears throat> Haven't seen you this happy since well ever. Yes, okay, I figured Streaming Chan would be back after Kirimiki's whole post about us, you know? Yeah, shit. Yo, I'm out. I'm gonna... Nah, too late. Oh my god. <clears throat> that's a fast flat bartender, if that's even your real name. It's not my real name! Haven't I told you my real name here, Streaming Chan? What the hell's your real name, by the way? Little fucker. <sighs> Last time, a viewership had a weird peak while I was passed out. Gee. Oh, she's got heterochromia. I didn't even realize that. Cool. I'm here to find out what made people so interested. Ugh. Well, that involves one thing. That involves uh, getting you so drunk you pass out, Streaming Chan. <laughs> There's something on my face. This guy totally fucked it. <laughs> Come on, is it that obvious, really? No doubt about it, that gleam in his eyes is unmistakable. <laughs> Just keep it down. Ah, Jill, you hit. Uh, uh oh. Not the passed out girl from two weeks ago? I'm not here. Oh, sorry. Get back in my office then. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? She just disappeared? What the fuck? Okay, uh, whatever, I guess. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, if we're gonna be super distracted at work, we're gonna be super distracted with some awesome tunes. Bam. I think we get a Chivo for that, too, come to think of it. Oh, Betty and Deal are back. And they're also not saying anything. Too happy and... <laughs> somebody's too happy and somebody's too mopey. Which one is which? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. So who the- like, there's no emotion here! Who is- like, who's happy and who's mopey? I'm guessing happy and mopey, to be honest with you, but... Oh, that's right, huh? Laura girl was head over heels for him. It's right on the money. Okay, so it's Gil and Laura, apparently. Say, that girl. Streaming chance. She's not here, apparently. Sorry! Isn't she the one that passed out last time? Yes. Anyways, Betty was right, and that deserves a beer. Oh, come on, really? Ugh, fine, just a beer. I guess I'm not really pressed for money anymore since we didn't make the 10 grand, but I guess that's no reason not to be an awesome ass bartender. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
shika 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 bam beer for the occasion the girl is actually infatuated with him huh should have seen her scream from the top of her lungs as she liked her oh that's sweet just standing there thinking <laughs> that sounds like me actually oh boy <laughs> yeah all right deal deal what's your deal <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, lol. In retrospect, it's a tad too cliched for my taste. <laughs> Still, I knew she liked him. I was right. I was right. He doesn't seem particularly happy. Well, he, I mean... Gil doesn't have very many emotions, it seems. <clears throat> Unlike your... Oh, wait. Was she talking about deal? <laughs> Unfollow. Hey, man. Following or unfollowing is your choice. Do whatever makes you happy. Do whatever makes you happy. Alright, so were they talking about Deal or or Gil on this one? See, that's a that's an unqualified pronoun. I, I took it to be uh, re referring to um, to Gil, not Deal, but they might be talking about Deal. Who knows? Like a coworker. Holy shit, did he fuck? <laughs> Oh, poor Gil. You're making it too obvious, Gil. How? <laughs> the beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy that got some and enjoyed every moment. Well, if you're getting some and you don't enjoy every moment, you're doing it wrong. Back to deal, though. Like I said, he seems lost in thought. All right, that I can't really tell. But whatever. Victories like these are few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. Can I get something non-alcoholic? That's not how you draw on your sorrows. True. True. Betty, I will drink to that. Non-alcohol is not how you draw on your sorrows. You should listen to her deal. A bloom light and... Aw. Oh, I see. So she's distracted so she can't remember what they're ordering. But luckily, I have got a good memory. <laughs> I don't. And, and something non-alcoholic, right? <clears throat> Oops, I was going to give her a double. Alright, 8, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Age down the rocks. Or the opposite, whatever, in Mixer Rude. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. All right, slot two will be something non-alcoholic. Uh, well, I guess we just kind of go down the line and see what's non-alcoholic here. Bleeding Jane. Blue Fairy. Crevice Spike. Let's go Crevice Spike. Oops, I already fucked it up. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, blended. Shake, 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 shake. All right. Whoa! What? I fucked that up. I didn't. What the? Powder. What? What? I I didn't fuck that up. Come on, man. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blended. Right? Blended. Shake a shake a shake a shake a. What the f. What do? What do? I don't. I don't understand. I. Can I not make a double of this? Alright, let's try a normal sized one then. Jeez. <clears throat> it says it's optional. Fine, whatever, it's fine. Here. I've read all you want, but I'm freaking out here. That doesn't sound like you're freaking out, Deal. Oh, well, nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, starters. What do you think?
Aside from Veronica, there's Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Mary, and Jessica. That's a, that's a lot of, uh, or should I say, didn't share the bed sheets, snores like a pig, cold feet, shampoo waster, chocolate addict. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, the, the first four I can get behind. Chocolate addict doesn't seem like a bad thing, though. Too religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, te what the hell does that mean? All right, I'm going to look that word up because I don't know what that means. I've heard it before. Teetotaler. <clears throat> and choose with the mouth open. All right, that's annoying. But uh, teetotaler. Person who abstains totally from intoxicating drink. Ah, oh, that is a deal breaker. That is a fucking deal breaker for me. I mean, other people have none of their interests, right? But yeah, do not abstain from the drinky drinks. What do you think, Jill? I think, uh... <laughs> And she must be quite the heartbreaker has so many relationships in a short period of time. <clears throat> in about piece of scrap situation. And thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Uh, Gil? I, you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to ask a dude who just freshly fucked about relationship advice, okay? Just don't do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nothing coherent will, uh, will come out of that. He's still on fucking cloud nine. Ha, 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 ha. Jill with the bad pun. <clears throat> is it fucking in cloud nine? Or fucking on cloud nine? Wait, what did she say before? Yeah, just had a, just had a little word transposition there. That's fine, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. What about sneaky, sneaky? Oh. Oh, damn, she actually hides pretty well. Well, she's not on the screen. How do you feel about her? I don't know. I don't know her that well. Well, good to know her then. You know, let's go out for coffee or lunch or something. Get to know the person, you know? Ask her out sometime. Get to know her. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe you'll change yours. In the end, you lose nothing by... Oh, this is actually good advice. Oh, damn it. Jill's not taking her own advice with this whole note and Gabby situation, is she? Giving love advice to a little lol. I don't know how well it applies to you. These things are humans and all but organs nowadays. Even if that's the case, it's interesting that she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? This fellow's a good catch, if I do say so myself. Ooh, Betty with the compliment, finally. Like I said, humans and all but organs. You've surely encountered little that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well, Dorothy, I guess. We live in weird times, but hey. <laughs> da -da 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 -ba -ba -da -da that only makes them more interesting. So I'd go into other cities and not seeing the same integration of Willem, though. That city is pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Willem integration. So, <clears throat> anyways, just try to get to know her. You'll find out how you feel afterwards. Yep, that's that's good advice. That's that's good advice. The uninspired advice, if you ask me. Well, you know, it's trite and cliche to say that, but when people are dealing with relationships and shit, they sometimes you don't think of the obvious stuff. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and a piano woman. Piano man and piano woman. I can remember two drinks in a row. Come on. One, two, three. On the rocks and mixed. Shaka, 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 bam. Piano man and a piano woman. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Now, they just vary up the, uh... They just vary up the uh, ingredients a little bit, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, all on the rocks and mixed. Shake a shake a shake a shake a... Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. I, uh... That, that one was aged. Oopsie doopsie. All right. <clears throat> That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Aged and mixed. Shaka, 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 bam. Piano one. There you go. We got the drinks right, at least. Now we reach a stalemate. I don't really take the piano man, but I feel there's a symbolic value in taking the woman. I order like that, then. 
I hate Laura. Oh, yeah, yeah, you you hate. You hate Laura. You're not hiding your blush there, buddy. You don't hate her. <clears throat> you don't. Just... Oh, oh, she's got a little crush on Neil, doesn't she? And if he's a scrap, not hers, you're mine, mine. Betty, you don't own... You don't own me! Besides, I can't for the life of me leave you alone. I feel like a moment I just let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. Oh, that's that's sweet and adorable. I don't laugh at her. You need someone making sure you aren't kicking people. That's not normal, you know? <laughs> I don't think I have something with her yet. You're right. You won't leave me? I'd worry myself sick if I left you to your own devices, honestly. Yeah, some people do need looking after, don't they? Holding a small New Year's party tomorrow. I don't know if you want to come. Yay, man, we're getting the entire gang of people here for the New Year's party. It's gonna be more bumping than the Mega Christmas one, that's for sure. <laughs> Bye, Bill. Bye, Betty. <laughs> oh, good. Streaming Chan's back. Bum, bum, ba -da, bum, 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 how did Jill get evicted? It, it, we got evicted because we couldn't raise ten fucking thousand dollars in like three days. That's dumb. Why didn't I know about that from the beginning of the month? That seems like important info to have. It seems like they would tell you that at the beginning of the month, how much your fucking rent is, but I guess not. In the year of our lord, 2070X, they leave that for like the last three days. Oh well. <clears throat> Oh no, streaming chan, you're not invited, please. I mean, uh, tomorrow, I'd end the year with a party myself, so... Sorry. Oh, uh, that's too bad. <laughs> Such bliss. <laughs> oh, Jill. Well, I can see how traffic spike. Things can get fun here. And just like that last time, I need to show my viewers something. Give them something nasty. Hmm. Something nasty, huh? I'm gonna skip November's rent to pay that mobile game debt. Well, okay, so we've missed rent two months in a row, huh? Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it was $10,000. Jeez, that did seem a little high, didn't it? All right, so she wanted something nasty. What's nasty here? Promo drinks are nasty, right? Oh, yeah, this is nasty. Okay, we can go with this. Alright, so if the only thing that she's being distracted at work about is not remembering the drink orders, I can deal with this. On the rocks and mixed. Shaka, 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 bam! Here, here's something nasty. <laughs> this is the. Cut. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> It was nasty, all right. Yeah, see? Now it's time for me to be a nice person and give me something nice. What? Second time I'm here, so it's only natural you get your own copy of my theme song. Uh, oh cool, so we're filling out the jukebox. Well, I guess technically we have a month. It told us we would be out of there by February, I suppose, and it's only December, so we're good. It's already in your player, great, thanks. I can't- how in the ever-living fuck did you do that? <laughs> Magic! A.K.A. nobody secures their Wi-Fi passwords anymore. That's bullshit. Video editing magic. Just hack into the music player? Let's move on, shall we? Uh, yeah, whatever. Hey, weren't there dogs? There was a dog in the bathroom yesterday, I suppose. Last time you talked about... This place like was some zany haven of sorts, but I see the same shit. What? Zany Haven? Well, we protected Kiramiki from super stalker bullshit asshole D. Donovan Dawson or whatever. Donovan D. Dawson? Dawson D. Donovan? Whatever. Seriously, no decorations or anything of the like? Good question. Where are the dogs? Either haven't paid enough attention to their arrival or they haven't come. Idols, newspaper managers, talking dogs, and there's the same old bar like last time. You're just here at the wrong time, Streaming Chan. Don't blame me for that garbage, alright? That's your fault. I see you for fake advertising, you know. What? I never advertised it that way. Fuck you. <clears throat> Maybe boss just donated money to the Sira thing. And then tricked the dog into coming here as a part-timer for kicks. Oh well, anything interesting lately? I mean, it's not like I miss them, but they should at least show their faces. Lou! Alright, what'd you say? 
Hey, are there any new stories? No, it's not a newspaper, you know? Or is it a crazy stories on demand streaming service? The big fat line, you know it. Oh no, we don't need to be super distracted by her now too, do we? <laughs> Shut up. I said nothing. Eh. God damn it. Alright, turn on the TV. Let's get some let's get some Hassy Zero going. Uh, I mean, so shut that idea up. Yeah, that. Well, jeez. <laughs> I won't. Last time I came here, the viewership peaked for some reason. I want to find out why. Maybe Pretty Boy over there can tell us the story of who we fucked. <laughs> oh, poor Gil. Like, he fucked like two days ago, and we're still raking on him for it. <laughs> He's so distracted, he won't even make a retort. Amazing. Guess there's something worth saying, but... Well, Kuramiki came by again yesterday. You're shitting me. I am not. I am not one who shits. Uh, people. I mean, everybody shits, right? That's kind of the defining characteristic of humanity. Everybody shits. I can't believe she came all the way here again. You even have proof like the glass from last time? Well... Yeah, boss coming in with the rescue. Walls are pretty thin. Anyway, she did. I even took a picture. Hey, what? Yeah, we knew about that, Jill. Come on. Get your head in the game. Let's see. Why, why, why? I'm trying to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. Well, she is rather busy. Isn't she? <clears throat> you sit there and she just comes waltzing over? Well, she was running from some fucking psycho last time, so whatever. I mean, you can't control that, really. Not fair. Hey, if I knew how the hell stuff like that happened, I'd share my secrets. I was just as baffled as you are right now. Bet you're not even that much of a fan anyway, are you? Uh, I mean, we do have her song on repeat here, but no, I'm not much of a fan. <laughs> At least tell me how nice she was as a client. Very graceful client, much like the last time. A really nice girl. I can give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know, you hear? Not gonna let you keep her to yourself. Oh, whatever, streaming chan. Really doubt she'll come back again, though. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> If she just walks in right now, that'd be great. Or if she came to the holiday party tomorrow, that'd be also great. Need something to drown this anger with. Give me something girly, huh? Alright, something girly. You want something girly? This is girly, alright. Plus, she wanted her viewers, so... Alright. Here we go. <laughs> you asked for it. Da, 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 da. All mixed. Shika, 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 bam! Here you go. Early. Whew! Just chill a bit. It's still not fair. Whatever. You're boring today. What? You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe the peak viewership thing is just you. Huh? Eh? Nani? <laughs> This bar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. Oh man, Jill, sarcasm does not translate in text. Are you hitting on me? No! What? What? Jeez, no. I am not. In fact, I'm kind of trying to get you to leave, Pronto. Don't be so hard on the girl. She's fun. What a nuisance. Ah, don't hate me. Well, you're a hallucination. Like, what do you want me to say? Not hate, it's just... Wait, I'm not having this conversation again. Boring. Hey, hey, you curious? You are curious, right? About Fuckboy's partner. Want to know who it was? No? What? How would you know? Like, you're a figment of my imagination. How would you know? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not settles it then. Not not taking any chances. Ah, ah, ah. Um, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. Two bartenders break or something? Did I call the manager? Tech support? Hey, Joe, enter and out her voice, remember? Fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. What? Who fucked? Aside from that guy, I mean. Um, uh, I was say, you're oddly calm today. Well, I've been getting more sleep lately. Well, it's since you passed out for like 24 hours last time you were at the bar, I guess, right? That way, I don't feel like if I stop speaking, I'll die. <laughs> Crash is one hell of a drug. And wouldn't you know, I can actually make it premium time if I go commando. Oh. Uh... Please don't? Hmm. God, I'm getting bored out of my ass here. Do something. Not a dog. You can't just ask me to roll over, you know? 
Where the fuck are the dogs for this here? Like, real, actual, literal, literal dogs. Where the fuck are they? I have to entertain you a bit then. Boss? You and Gil take a break. I'll entertain the Missy here. Oh, and show her some wrestling moves? Aw, oh, Jill. By that I meant take Gil with you. I want him humming to the middle of the room. <laughs> and right into a truck grill. <laughs> Grilled Gil. <laughs> right. Alright, Gil. Come on, let's go. Huh? <laughs> He did fuck, didn't he? <laughs> oh dear. All right, so we made it through half the day without getting too distracted, right? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. There's Jill being all, uh, all kind and offering, even though he's not going to accept, right? Although, did he have a smoke after he fucked? Let's see. Yeah, see, there we go. Always be kind. Always offer. Always offer. All right, got a text from all of Boss, Alma, and Gil didn't fuck. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Who are you sending congratulations your way, though? Tell her I said thanks, I guess. Who was a lucky girl? Ah, uh, so it was a guy. I never thought she swung that way. It wasn't a guy. So it was, it was a girl. You did fuck. I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know? <clears throat> Hey, all right, Jill, lay off the guy. If he doesn't want to talk about it, just let him let him go, all right? You're pretty hard to get close to, you know? You never talk about yourself. You're talkative, so long as it doesn't involve you directly. Hey, you need some mystique. Everybody needs a little mystery to them, otherwise people are boring as fuck. <clears throat> Teasing you is literally the only way I know to get through to you. Like, you sound like some weird loner. Well, you are ex-KGB, apparently, so whatever. <laughs> oh, Jill. Please tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with whoever it was. I did. Good for you. Why are you humming Sunshine Stone so much, though? Well, after that idol girl came yesterday again, I covered discography, and I can't stop humming or listening to them. Oh god, you didn't fuck the idol girl, did you? Well... No, why would that be a problem, though? I don't know, it just feel weird. No, we already know that uh, Kiramiki is in bed with her producer. And Gil's not her producer, right? Man, what a tangled web that would be. <clears throat> All right, well, that's for the break. Let's go back. Oh, Gil? You mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way, that way we won't tease you so often. That's a fucking bald-faced lie. We're gonna tease him way more once he starts opening up. And you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. Well, the year's almost over, so... Must have been a pretty boring year otherwise, huh? Or if Alma finds Gil attractive. All right, so we, we got the Chivo for having all this. <laughs> the same fucking thing. All right. So wait, where was the streaming chan thing? There it is. Okay, we'll we'll throw that on there just for old time's sake. All uh, systems go. The avatar. Drug star. Oh, I don't remember this one. What was this one? Oh, it's a slow starter. All right, let's put that early on. I want to hear it in its entirety. Uh, approaches, Renewed Hope, Neon District, Duskaroo, um, base of the Titans out of orbit. Into this flooding place, knowing the achievement. I, I did take a peek at the achievements list, and that one kind of stood out, so I'm like, you know what? That's really super easy. So we did it. Plus, I actually like that song, so, you know, it does double duty. Heh, <laughs> duty. And that's that. <clears throat> Back. What are you two doing back there? Dorothy, don't get any ideas. Gil fucked, but not with us. <laughs> oh, boy. Jill, sometimes I swear you don't listen to me. <laughs> oh, so just chatting, man. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy knows the score. Holy crap, did you two really fuck? <laughs> It was the face of a man who fucked it after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dorothy! Oh, Dorothy's hilarious. I love her. See, Gil, you're making it too obvious. I'm getting really warm now. We gotta ditch the sweatshirt. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's good shit. It is really good shit. 
What are you having today, Dorothy? <clears throat> a gut punch. And nothing. That's really... That's, uh... That's really out of character for Dorothy, isn't it? I'm gonna skip October's rent to buy that Wi-Fi router till the... <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Alright, so not only did we skip November's rent, but we skipped October's rent, too. Alright, so that 10000 is like three months of back rent. No wonder... No wonder it was $10,000. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> well, if that's the case, I'm not really surprised we're getting evicted then. What does she want? A gut punch, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, and Karma Train. We are going to load this up because we like Dorothy. Aged and mixed. Shaka, 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 bam! There you go, gut punch. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Oh, oh she's got the body face. It's too cute. Okay, it's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out, trying out new things. All right. The little tongues are designed to identify food using the chemical components. Tongues are designed with the human ones in mind. First flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. Really? Is that true? It sounds sciencey enough, but I don't know if that's true. Check my personal specs, and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2235 times. Makes me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. <laughs> why all that exposition? I mean, I'd lie if I say I wasn't interested, but why? <laughs> After last time, I got curious and started checking how many of my systems worked in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibrations you could make a seismograph with them. Ooh, really now? Checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. Yeah, it got me thinking about what you said. My systems to work. Oh, yeah, there's the streaming chant theme. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good song, too. <clears throat> it's just a lot more palatable without all that fucking scrolling ass streaming chant text and shit, right? My systems to work. Humans had to understand how they work, and after all those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know. Looking up all that suddenly made me feel for real. It's the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm here right now. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're coming to terms with your existence, Dorothy. That's really nice. All right, then. Let's try something sweet now. Okay, something sweet. <clears throat> something sweet. I've been leaning on the sugar rush pretty hard for sweet stuff, so let's, uh... Let's do something a bit more complicated. Ah, uh, blue fairy. We haven't seen a blue fairy in a while. Eight, two, and optional karma train, which is means required. And we like Dorothy, so we're giving her a full blast of everything, all aged and mixed. Shika, 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 bam! There you go. Nice. Yes, it's a bit surreal for me. What? I'm talking to you and you're answering like any human would, you're even expressing happiness. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when I was a kid, I usually tried to strike conversations with AIs, but after a bit, they'd just start looping through their built in answers, repeating the same things over and over. That's made me crash back into reality. I think back to that, having such an advanced AI like you here right now, it's amazing. I don't know, it makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. Aww. It helps when I feel particularly cynical. <laughs> like finding out I'm going to be evicted. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Oh, I flatter me. Besides, I always thought about humans like nature's Lillian. Method might have been different, but we too evolved from a more simple form ages ago. Yeah, that's true. Evolution will do that to you over many, 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 many years. Will it manage to create biological life years from now? We'll all have come full circle. What should I? So what should I take from this? Is you love me? Oh, Dorothy. Mm, no, but. <laughs> okay, don't overdo it. Anything else? <clears throat> Let's go with the sugar rush. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't give her a sugar rush before. Then, since she's asking for one now. Optional karma train. Guess what? Load it up! And I'm still pretty sure you can't get Lilim drunk. I'm pretty sure that was a thing that was said. But whatever, here you go. Sugar rush. Even in doubt, my love for these is real. Oh, so she likes Sugar Rush is the best, right? Okay. How romantic. Man, that go goes. Uh, uh, streaming Chan is still here? You like talking a bit more with Didi? Didi is too much of a prick and Go-Go is tired. Well, 
Besides, I want to talk to the bartenders. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I tried, Jill. I'll be in my office. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. You did something. We already heard this. Come on. Oh, dang. They don't even let you change off of it. <laughs> Cam girl. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, fuck. <laughs> What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy Hayes, at your service. You come here often? Are you hitting on me, lol? Hey, Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want to participate? Sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, let's take a recommendation from you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Hmm. <clears throat> sugar rush. Okay. Yes, ma'am. One, two, three, four, one, two, and we can get humans drunk though, right? So let's do that instead. Although I don't think it's really gonna matter, will it? Shika, 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 bam! Here you go, sugar rush! Yay! So what are you doing in my turf? Uh... Streaming Chan? Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, that's what she calls herself. <laughs> That's a tacky name. Yes! It's finally, the truth comes out. Yeah, but it's my tacky name. All right, you, you own it. You own it. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's not really my name. Well, duh. What's your real name? Behind Streaming Chan's awesome mask lies the humble Nicole Chen. All right. <laughs> humble. Wanna call yourself Streaming Chen? Ha! Huh? It's funny that you mention it. I was originally gonna do that, but... Nico, Nico, Chen, nice. But... Change website so the name felt a bit out of place, thus it became streaming Chen. Okay, you know, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> Everyone nicknamed me streaming Chan, though, so I just went along with it. At one point, I was going to call myself Dolores Hayes. Wow. Yeah, Dorothy. Then I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. <laughs> Anyway, I'm here because the last time I came, I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual, and so I wanted to treat my loyal audience again. Oh, I see. You came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Whoa! Dorothy! Dorothy, let's not spill any secrets here, okay? No secrets. I hear it might seem harsh, you just need to crack her shell. Yeah, please don't. Shut up. So you just need to say the right thing at the right time, she becomes a sweetheart. Quiet, you! <laughs> Oh, Dorothy, please. Don't play hard, you know it's true. Wow, what song is this? This is rad. All systems go, fuck, I should put that in the list more often. Hey, stream girl, ask me. I regret asking this, but don't you have a sponsor? We did I spend this long without some advertisement? I have, but you see, contract with them is expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had to make a new one. Who's gonna send the draft to his lawyer? It has a couple of additions, but it fell through, and I was a lazy piece of shit, so I didn't do it, right? I'd say you got too excited with my VR model, and the contract became unreadable. Right. Unreadable. <clears throat> so, use the contract to. Yep, cut it into a pair of panties and rub. Okay. Cut it into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously on his penis. Okay. I mean, you'd expect certain principles to be upheld, even in the adult VR industry. I reported him and he got fired, but now they're looking for a new business person thing. Honestly, I think the paper cuts... Oh, no, why would you... Ah! Ooh, paper cuts on your penis are no joke. That's... Ooh, that sounds very painful. Because paper cuts are, like, the most painful of all cuts. Like, even, honest to goodness... Actual bleeding ass cuts help have nothing on paper cuts. I mean, why the contract? I don't mind it if you jacked off to an image of me, but the contract? Yeah, exactly, right? There's money that you're soiling right there. We've gone back on the deal were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely. Some people, seriously. Yeah. Ah, dick paper cuts. Wait a minute, Dorothy, you're saying that like you're aware of this happening in the past. Praise teacher fantasies know how that can be a pro- Oh, no! <laughs> why? I don't think you need to have experience to understand that. Oh, uh, that's sad. Gil's been grimacing for a full minute now. Yes, the pain only a, a person with a penis can know. 
<laughs> I, uh, oh, God, that makes me cringe. Don't mind me. Huh. But you know, I like you, Dorothy. Why don't we celebrate with beers? My treat. All right. Two big beers. Okay. Big ass beers. Two big ass beers. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One big ass beer. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shika, 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 boom! Two big ass beers for the ladies. <clears throat> cheers, cheers, cheers all around. Whoa, okay, she is apparently getting drunk. <laughs> hey man, look, this is a mature rated stream, all right? You tuning in at exactly the penis paper cuts is your own problem. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness. Also, how you doing, 006? <laughs> All right, so apparently she's getting a little drunk. That's fine. <clears throat> Did I hear lewd? Do you have any stories? <laughs> Dorothy? <laughs> this will be a treat for non-premium users. I once met a guy that insisted on doing it in a jacuzzi. Ooh. In mind being in premium time, so I started setting up the cameras, and man, was it a challenge. I wasn't just going to stream over the water. I wanted some underwater action, too. Whoa. All right, getting adventurous. What did you do with the bubbles and all? That was the least of the problems, we just turned the jets off. Not only did I have to make a makeshift underwater cover, I also had to keep in mind the heat. He isn't good with cameras. Yeah, that's true enough. Try chilling the cam a bit and putting in a bag with some filling? Made something more convoluted. Oh, we got some incredible machine bullshit going on here? Took a small cooler, opened a hole for the lens, and sealed it with plastic. Made sure things looked good through the cam and started recording. Ran some cooling packs that sealed the fuck out of the cooler. I was into bodybuilding, so he used some old dumbbells. He was also ripped as fuck. That's another story. Why are we listening to this girl's story about fucking in a jacuzzi? Whatever. I guess it's fine. Well, it's a success, but it's also the last time I have sex on a jacuzzi. Blood rushing hot water. I felt as if dying midway through it. <clears throat> I think I decided to resume the action out of the water midway through it. I just surely died. This guy didn't burn himself, Paul. Well, what do you mean? Last time I had sex on a jacuzzi, my body got so hot, the guy almost burned his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dorothy, never change. Considered investing in a cooling system, but it's so situational and expensive that I will pass. Besides, those cooling systems require too much maintenance. Hey, I think I should leave, but care to join me in escapades for the rest of the night? I plug my services at the end? Sure! <laughs> then count me in, I've got the perfect stories. Let us be on our way then. Goodbye, bartender. Bye, Dorothy! Bye, Streaming Chan! Dorothy, be careful, she's crazy. Please be careful. Well, let's start the story. You see, there was this Mega Santa. Oh, she's telling the Mega Santa gangbang story again? Oh, that Dorothy. That Dorothy. <laughs> Fair made in hell. Oh dear. Filming underwater sound convoluted as fuck. Sure did. Don't they make waterproof cameras for maybe that reason? Guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're horny. <laughs> We're done, boss. This will feel great. We're in the, are we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? Bonus. I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with and keep it up. Well, tomorrow's a big day. Let's get ready. Goes for both of us. Damn it, we could have used the 10,000 a day ago. But I mean, we didn't make much today anyways, it seems. We still got the all the service bonus, even though we were distracted from getting evicted. But, you know, that, that shit happens. <clears throat> either, either I'm getting older, that girl is too much even for me. Hey, boss, you, you tried to distract her for me, so kudos to you for that. No new notifications or reminders other than I'm getting evicted in a month, so whatever. Guess that's something. Leave the closet open in case you want to hide from the noise. <laughs> well, 
I guess it is New Year's, right? Um, so now we've got $11,000 we don't know what to do with, apparently, so... Maybe we should go shopping. Let's see what 2chan has to say, though. <clears throat> oh, we've got a message from the admin. Well, that's not the admin for a while, just to say thank you, big, big thanks to blah, 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 blah. Wait, 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 what? 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 Oh, we at the end of the game? No, that would suck. We're having fun. Well, stop the admin. Thank you. Thank you for reaching this point at the game. Thank you for only tweeting. Blah blah blah. Oh my God, this is like the actual does, right? No, we couldn't answer a single thing. Well, I don't know. Rocket things no problem. That big mess down. We beat the odds. Kicked out of two. And read through all my odds. This one wasn't too heavy handed. Let's fill the world with badass cuties. That's right. Let's fucking fill the world with badass cuties. I can be get behind that. Oh no, I hope it's not the end. Oh, I miss this game. I'm gonna miss the fuck out of this game. So wait a minute, do we have enough cash to buy everything else? Like everything else? I think we do. Let's do it. Let's buy it. Let's buy all the things. Oh, there's not even that much left. Fuck it. Let's do it. Buy. 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 Yeah, we did it. We are 100% on the shop. Oh, wow, this place looks crowded now. <laughs> oh, it is Turing! Oh my goodness, that's awesome. I love it. That's fucking awesome. Alright, so we don't got nothing else to read. We just gotta go enjoy the New Year's celebration, apparently. So let's go do that. Let's go do that. <clears throat> go some back, getting everything ready, go grab some food. I agreed to work on New Year's if I want to pick it up myself, lol. You alright? Scared. Yeah, it'll show up any minute. Max, everything will be alright, sure you have that. Drink something, maybe that will cheer me up. Leave you for a bit, keep your chin up. Get through this, I'll give you, I don't know, a hug? Does that work? <laughs> a hug? Big one, a reward for after everything's said and done. There you go, you can do it. Oh, boss believes in us! Everything's fine. Been avoiding this for all these years, now it's time to face it head on. Yeah, everything's fine. <clears throat> Think it will be better after you talk to Gap. Yes, it will be. Jill? Jill? I'm here for you, honey. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely got a thing for her boss. <clears throat> oh, hey, Gabby. Sorry I unloaded on you that one time. Oh, no. Is it gonna get feelsy again? I kind of don't want this to get feelsy right now. I'm gonna Val Hell. Uh. Hey, uh. Y you first. No, I. Well. Seven days ago, I got a letter, and even odder than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. I just sent you a letter, that's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know. Never opened it. Yeah, I was a big old coward. Not until now. Figured I should read it with you. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, get the determined face on. Let's read it. Oh, shit. Oh, a dramatic music stinger. What's. Oh. Am I gonna have to. I'm gonna have to turn that down. <laughs> I don't know why that's louder. I don't know why that's louder, but we turn it down because that's a bit too loud. Alright. It's just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? It's just like your sister. Spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open for fear of what it might contain, but it contains this bitchin' ass music. I'll sleep appetite thinking about it, and after all these worries, after all those problems, after all these years of not talking to her, she sends me a letter, a fucking letter of all things. And he just says, sorry? Sorry for what? For our fight? For not talking all these years? Now I'm fucking pissed. Oh. Jill, don't get mad at the dead. Don't get mad at the dead. That's not a good idea. I just I remember all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like a time where she gave you chocolates labeled 1, 2, and 4 during Valentine's <laughs> Where the fuck is number 3? <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. From the time you left an unopened beer bottle on the table, she sneakily opened it and took a sip. And tell you she did, and you were confused all day long. I was bragging she knew me like the back of her hand. The letter was supposed to piss me off like that. I guess she had all the rights to brag. And she's being sincere, though. It expressed to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. 
<clears throat> Something she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? Yeah, the heart attack thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the massive rejection that always makes the news. Her case was more focused. Usually the amputator replaced the part and call it a day. All right, so now we're back to normal volume for some reason. It seems weird that that part was super loud. Whatever, it's fine. According to different, the condition made her susceptible to transplant rejections. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. The thing is, apparently she suffered that since she was 18. We kept it a secret. Ugh. Wait, I missed. I clicked through something there. Why? All right. Hell, if I know, she was angry to learn that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Now she lives so normally, then. Ned uses serum. Shots near her heart every three days. Ah, yeah. Ugh, that's painful. First the whole penis paper cut thing, and now shots near your heart. Ugh. Apparently the serum burns like hell. A shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. The thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark. The rejection was what ended up killing her. And the machine rejection was what ended up killing her, but they couldn't find out, find what made her so vulnerable. <clears throat> Doctor said she might have missed a shot, or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker. Yeah, makes a little bit of sense. Condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere, or maybe it was blood pressure. It was a regular heart attack, and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. I have to seek it from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Oh, Gabby, don't blame yourself about that sort of stuff. You didn't know about it, she didn't tell you, so what What exactly could you have done about it? Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Yeah, well, that's a lot of what-ifs. That's a lot of what-ifs, and you shouldn't do that for that sort of thing. Don't beat yourself up about that stuff. <clears throat> yeah, see? Exactly, Jill. Thinking about what-ifs won't bring her back. Spent so much time hearing myself with what ifs after you told me she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at that very moment? What if I had apologized? What if I had given a chance to the research institute back then? <clears throat> the amount just increased threefold after I lashed out at you the other day. Today I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's very true. You're alive, you're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can apologize to you right now. Or she's... Resting now. Yep. Resting after having that heart condition all these years. Didn't have to face it alone, though. If only she... Celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn, let's mourn her together. If we are to honor her, we'll do it together. There you go. Amen. I'm a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is try to lighten it up. Even if it's only for a moment. That's what I've always kind of wondered about funerals and shit. It's like everybody's all, you know, sad and mourning and shit. Which is, you know... An appropriate, I wouldn't say appropriate, but like, it's an acceptable response, right? But like, having a, f like having a party seems more like the right thing to do. You know? You wouldn't want the people that pass to, like, see you like that, right? God damn it. This is fieldsy, isn't it? Shit. Sorry. Sorry. I need to ask, though, did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? No. Oh, Gabby. Didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She did complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes away. That actually goes way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods, I even blamed her death on you. Yeah, Gabby, don't worry. You were still kind of feeling a little bit. <clears throat> Just too angry back then. Part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. Also a very human thing to do. And you didn't deserve that. Sorry. I'm sorry too, you know. Yeah, but we both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. Should have been mature and not shout at you either. So let's just call all that water under the bed, shall we? You sure? Of course. How'd you find me exactly? Uh, well, have you heard of a message board called Danger You? Yeah, we've been reading it the past like two and a half weeks. <coughs> I have, yeah. Well, the truth is that I visit it from time to time. The other day I read a thread that discussed the bar. Well, but that thread happened after you visited once, though, Gabby. The fuck? You some time-traveling wizard? The description of the bartender sounded just like you. Are you mad? No, not mad. More like dumbfounded. Yeah, like, like one, why would you trust the internet, especially in a place like a 2chan-type place? 
That's dumb. You better party when I die, I'll buy the scotch. Well, not if I die before you, you shitlord. <laughs> then I want you to party, okay? <laughs> hey, Jill, can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well... Back then, I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. Not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Okay, well, it's fair. Someone to support you even through the tough times where you don't feel like doing the shit that you're doing, right? <clears throat> Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. Then after graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on my behalf on no time. Aw, oh, don't do that. <clears throat> don't accept shit on other people's behalf. That's not a good thing. I'm saying it was the best for me and my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future, and she started talking about marriage. You're gonna get married? <laughs> Newsflash, yes, probably. I don't think we ever took it seriously. It's just something she kept mentioning. Hmm, excuse me. I like we didn't think about that down the line. She mostly teased me with it. Thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. <clears throat> Loved her, but I didn't think I was ready for such commitment. Especially considering what she did. <laughs> of course, a good shit and poor shot from him and drinking the rest. Well, don't waste the shot on me. I'm, if I'm going to be dead, I'm not going to enjoy it anyways. Just drink the entire thing. That That is a mercy I will grant to you. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. Exactly. You should make those big decisions yourself. <clears throat> I mean, she could be really pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her, and that was partly because she was so pushy. Even if she had the best intentions, she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained down at me and on me at that moment. Took it upon herself to make that choice for me, what would have stopped her once we'd gotten married? What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after marriage? I knew her. She would do it thinking if it was the best for me. What about my freedom? My say on the matter. That's where he stopped loving her. No, well, she didn't necessarily say Jill stopped loving her. That was just like... Well, bridge too far doesn't exactly describe it, but it's close to that. Never stopped loving her, which is why it hurts so much, but you have to understand, I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. That's uh, not a bad way to... <clears throat> that's not a bad way to think about it. You don't want to suddenly, you know, become self-aware and be in a place that you don't like being. That's not good. That routine, getting used to it, zoning out on your Barco lounger, watching bullshit daytime TV or something. On a break from everything for a while, I put my thoughts in order, regroup myself, think carefully about what to do next. It's a good idea. I understand. Sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college, so what? that's what led to you two fighting, huh? Our fight makes it sound like we exchange blows or something, huh? Eh. It's all silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. He was the one who started the fight, getting all defense about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps if I didn't overreact her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity, maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. Couldn't have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that with her. Sister said something like that, huh? Well, she mentioned me on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Should have listened to her at the end, but instead I kept pushing her. Should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. Guess it was a huge opportunity, huh? It was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped projecting myself so much into her. Something like that. <laughs> Quite the hotheads, you, me, and my sis. Yeah, made for each other, it seems. Supposed to be the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly, lol. Why didn't you come back, Jill? Why did you end up hating this that much? The break include us, too? No, it's just that... Remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke a window? How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? Your sister wouldn't have scolded you. I was afraid, dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. I faced her back then, and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? Oh, the innocence of a child at seven, huh? Not quite the same, exactly. In a perspective, no matter what reason I came up with, it will never make sense. Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? Not that it makes things easier. I'll never get to speak to her ever again, and it feels bad because it's stupid. I swear you and my sister meant for one another. Both moved on after all that, but neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. Hey, apologizing to somebody is... is terrifying sometimes. Like I said, berating myself over those past mistakes won't bring her back. Yeah, Gabby. I miss her so much. I... Kinda do too, even though I'm not Jill. We're together all the time, always talking about dumb stuff. Wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. I think it's just so quiet now. Oh. Damn it. 
Beelzy again. Amazing person. Yeah, she was an amazing person. Uh? Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. Exactly. Why are we getting all these... Oh, I can't even click the jukebox to get some more dynamic tunes going. Why are we listening to all this depressing stuff? Come on. Let's get the jazz moving. Let's get the jazz going. Let's get the booze moving. Come on. Let's celebrate this stuff. Mm. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. They told you that all the time, lol. Same way she told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces, lol. Both figuratively and literally. <laughs> hey! I only did that once! Oh, I was only eight back then. <laughs> Let's have a toast in her honor, shall we? A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. A uh, drink? Don't worry, trust me. Something sweet. We can give her something sweet. Um, hmm. Here we go. The sweetest thing we got. Uh, we're not gonna give her booze though. She's got a she's she's underage. We're not doing that. Mix a mix a mix a mix a bam sugar rush. Here you go. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm watching for the beyond right now. So I give a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me that we both wanted to make amends at some point, or excuse me, meant to make amends at some point. But we never got around to it. Can't apologize you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. I know that I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. Jeez. Ah, uh, feels. <clears throat> make sure Gravity goes and find a woman. Just make sure, you're just like you were, I'll always be there for her. Be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Ha! <laughs> little brat. Hey! <laughs> Wanna add anything? Uh, I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me, say it to her. <clears throat> That's a bit, and Gabby, just, just do it, alright? I always miss you, Sis. Oh! So you idiot, why'd you keep that secret for so long? Baka! Baka! <laughs> I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You idiot. Idiot, yeah. Bill, I promise you you won't be like that knucklehead that you won't keep stuff like that to yourself. <clears throat> Only if you promise the same to me. Promise me we won't fight. Well, you can't promise that. You're gonna fight. No matter what, no matter how much you love somebody, you're gonna fight. You, yeah, exactly. Jill, see? Jill knows what's going on. They are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later, we'll clash on some opinion, but I can promise... <clears throat> what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults we are. I'm not an adult. Well, not not yet and not in age, but, you know, dealing with the, the death of somebody close will... will mature you pretty quick. Let's face it, you've been more mature than I have. <laughs> Did you mean what you said, that you'll look after me? Always be here for you, Gabby. I mean, not Lenore, but would dare leave my little sister alone. Aww. Wasn't this a toast? Right. And our faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. So, about this drink. Can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's it's not alcoholic, Gabby. Don't worry. I'm not a bad bartender. Might as well break. Oh, well, oops. I probably should have put something in. <laughs> Right, whoopsie. Did your sister give you beer once as a prank? Yeah, I mean, I had my dad's beer all the time when I was like five and six, and it tasted awful. I don't know why I drank it. <laughs> this, is so, this is so nasty. Day for fools, I should have known better when she offered me apple soda. What? Why would some, uh, why would somebody trick you into drinking beer by calling it apple soda? Ew, 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 ew. With bubble gum on all the soles of her shoes in retaliation. There you go. Talk funny. My jaw hurt for the rest of the day. And did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? Gave me a beard and turned out to be an apple soda. Lol. Do you get back at her? Well... <laughs> did hide all the dildos in the house that night. Only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. Oh my goodness, that's great. I love it. Oh. <clears throat> and as follow up, she used that same cucumber to salad daily. Ah! No! Why? Stop, please. Ugh. Said, so do you like eating me for. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Jill, please, you do know I can read that, right? Ugh. Ugh. Jill, I'll. Tell you when you're older. Uh, you probably shouldn't even tell her that. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> or never at all. Yes, please. Please the latter. Never at all. <clears throat> yeah, but do you know your parents are here? Or you, you're, do you, let's try that again. Hey, Gabby, do you know, do your parents know you're here? There we go. Look at that, Clary's actually, who? Oh, she's my best friend at school, unless Clary knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course, how would she cover for me otherwise, lol. Good friends cover for you. You go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. I mean, I will, I do live in another district, but... Oh, jeez. Excuse me. I live in another district, Clary doesn't live close by, so, hmm, that well, can't be helped. I live nearby and the streets aren't exactly safe, and I want to stay with me tonight. Oh yeah, I'm not getting evicted for another month, so I guess we're safe. I wouldn't imagine, but I'd say it's comfy enough at least to spend the night. Aw. Dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yeah, you opened a second branch last year. Nice. I'm gonna expand. I think you got into a partnership with a friend in the Motor District. I saw an opportunity after realizing Motor District has almost no bakeries. You mean that place where there's illegal street races, like, pretty much every night? I remember when your sister introduced me to him, he started shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were a lesbian! Mark one for Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just can't avoid parents' intuition, I suppppose. I think he had this bet with an acquaintance as his ever since my sis was 12 years old or so. Dad says sis was into girls, the acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on whether he lo whether he was right or not. What? Only a beer? A single ass beer? Man, that seems like a pretty weak ass bet if you ask me. Beer bottle's still in the fridge. It's even labeled sweet victory. <laughs> Mom and Lenora never made up, did they? No. I guess that one wasn't as simple as they said one too many things argument. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> Mom was always obsessed with high society and in her circle of friends, a lesbian daughter was a no-no. Well, fuck high society, then. <sighs> That's dumb. Still on my sister's side for that one, though. Yeah, you just, well, you should be. I didn't reject her because she, her she herself was homophobic, but she did it because her friends were. That's a bullshit excuse. You've got the wrong kind of friends, then. Fucking hell. You don't give me that garbage excuse. That's dumb. Mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. Also fucking dumb, by the way. <clears throat> How'd she react to her death? I don't know, Mom and Dad broke up two years ago. Never got married, so there was no proper divorce. Haven't seen her since. August, I think. Did you fight, too? Nah, she just hadn't showed up. I was felt alone, huh? Been there. Bit, but I'm not all I'm not alone anymore, thanks to you. Aw. I huh? thought there was gonna be a party here. Alma over here. Oh, it's Titty Hacker's back. New Year's celebration. Wanna stay? <clears throat> I don't want a kid to burden. Don't worry, you won't. You only get cola for the night though. No alcohol. Yeah, except for the alcohol I almost gave you before. <clears throat> Give us time to catch up more. I can introduce you to some friends. Are you in? No mind. Great. Oh, come here. There's someone I want to introduce to you. Oh, we we still didn't say hello to Alma. <laughs> oh, and then there's the fade out. This is the end, isn't it? Can we not even see, like, say and Stella and Dorothy one more time? No? Oh. Oh. Oh, so good. What a good game. What a fucking great game. What a good game. Shout outs to all these people. I will say, I'm generally not one for huge narratives and all that shit. But stuff like this is great. I love it. It's super good. <clears throat> and I love that there were so many good references back to uh, 2064 ROM as well. That was good too. <clears throat> and various references to many, 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 many other things. Probably about 75% I likely missed, let's be honest. Wow, that is cool. That is a very good game. I'm curious about the type of ending I got since I couldn't pay my rent. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if I couldn't have paid, let's see, my electricity bill or... What was the, what was the other bill we had to pay? It wasn't the heat bill. I don't remember now. It was so long ago. Jesus. Yeah. Hey, your first time watching this? Jesus. This is a, this is a much longer game than I anticipated. 
It certainly was. I expected it to be done probably a week ago, but it was very involved. Very involved. Well, shit, now I gotta figure out something to do for Friday, though. I was hoping this would at least set us through the rest of the meek. Or, the meek, nice. Rest of the week. Damn. Huh, we'll have to figure something out. We'll just have to have a filler night, I guess. Oh, it's okay. We got plenty of options for filler. Ba, 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 ba. Damn. That was damn fine. We'll, just let, we'll let the credits roll on this one because it's all you know, these people deserve props for putting together something like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. When you when you come in, the first line that you see is penis paper cuts. You gotta wonder what you got yourself into. I did have fun, game. Thank you. I did have lots of fun. I got to drink. I got to yell at people. And there were some feels, too. I did have fun. <clears throat> got to meet a cat boomer. Why did your boss hug you? Wait, whoa, whoa, what's, what's this? Why is this another conversation? Oh, that must have been Jill and, uh... Oh, you must be talking to Gabby. Oh, that's nice. That kind of person. Now let's sleep. You were dozing off back there. Aw. That is so... That is so adorable. <clears throat> Aw. Alright, so... This is gonna dunk me back to title... Or... What's the deal here? <laughs> Aw, that was, that was very cute and adorable and lewd. A very cute, adorable, lewd game, which is... It's hard to tick all those boxes in a single game, let's be honest. Let's be honest there. <clears throat> so, are we good? Is it gonna fade back to menu? Do I have to escape or now nah, we'll just we'll just let it go. The music's still kind of working out. No, we good? That it? Oh, oh, whoa, jeez. Oh, very first. We're not done. Wait a minute. Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay. We're doing the whole <laughs> evicted thing. I don't even allow you to skip one month. Well, let's see. <laughs> Technically, I skipped October because of the Wi-Fi router dildo thing. I skipped November because I was paying off some mobile game debts or whatever. Of course, I didn't know this. They didn't tell me this, so I couldn't be a little bit more regimented with my spending. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Jill, come on. We gotta be responsible. At least it wasn't because you spent too much money on useless stuff, right? I mean... I mean, after I already knew I was evicted, I bought everything, so whatever. <laughs> right? About that. Forget it. Don't want to hear. Oh, come on, Alma. You don't want to hear about the Wi-Fi... The, what was it? Wi-Fi router dildo or whatever? <laughs> we'll see. Tomorrow you'll regroup and think what to do next. Yeah, I guess. Thanks for letting me stay here by the... Whoa, your pet is huge. Queen size, considering I live with the guy for at least four years. Well, I mean... Size bed isn't really that big. <laughs> You know, lonely, but also really comfortable. Just like single life, I guess. That's right! Single life rocks. You don't mind sleeping with me, though. There's not enough space for the futon in here. I slept in a mattress in, fuck, over two years now. Jill, mattresses are overrated. Don't get attached to them. Yep, uh, that can be good for your back. I'm pretty sure they meant to say can't here. But whatever. And bad for my morale. <laughs> Lol. Anyways, good night. Night night. Oh. Hello, good morning. <laughs> uh, it's hot in here. Gee, you think? Also, I'm pretty sure queen beds are larger than that it seems to imply. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you don't want to wake her. Of course you don't want to wake her up. Might as well let me crash her place. Oh well, let's try to sleep a bit and... Before I go away. Oh, you piece of fur, don't you dare sleep on my f <laughs> <His> face. 
Oh boy. That's funny. That's really funny. Oh, we popped another Chivo there. I, I didn't even see it. Oh well. We did it. Alright, let's save. We could do New Game Plus. We certainly could. Alright, so who do we got here? We've got... Uh, that's definitely Stella. Uh, that's definitely Boss, because you got the little whoop at the top. That's... I don't know who these other two are. They don't look familiar. But we did it! We did it! Hooray for us! We completed the game. That was a very good game, too. Definitely have to, uh... Hit these folks up on Twitter and give them congrats on such a cool-ass game. <clears throat> but yeah, we did it! Oh, wait! Oh, Gabby's in the title screen with us! That's cute. That's really cute. We did it. <clears throat> We did it. All right. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Whew. What a journey. What a story. That was a good story. Um, so next stream will be Friday night, 7 p.m. CST. We've got to figure out what the fuck we're going to do. It'll be a filler. It'll be a filler night, and then we'll start something in earnest on Monday. But that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.